the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away with this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Lift my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. This is episode 1,329. We're doing it live. Again, 1,329. And we got Jeff back again. We got Adam back again. Welcome back, guys. Woo! Yeah. 1350? Uh, it's... I, I'm sorry. I had you muted way too long, and I just <laughs> oh. now heard you. 1350? I was like, we're coming up to that episode. Are you going to do something crazy for that? 1350. I guess it's so. I can't believe you don't know what that is. No, I don't uh, know it's, what it's it is. Inappropriate. It's a that's a scoot joke. Is it? It's a it's a it's a racist dog oh, whistle. <laughs> you know what he <laughs> did? That I he, feel like I'd be digging a hole if I explained. He mentioned that uh, I believe I, I think he did make that joke before, and and he mentioned fourteen hundred and eighty eight oh, okay. too, because because oh, of course, yeah, another classic number, classic. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's such a disgusting racist. Oh, God. Scoot. <laughs> oh, Scoot. Bless, bless his little paws. Yeah. <laughs> his, 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 his white supremacist little little tiger paws. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We, made a, we made a horsey tiger ethno state nice. in the Animal Crossing game. <laughs> 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 we actually did. It, it was one of the, it, it was, it's one of the good uh, videos on the gaming channel. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's one I of the recommend. good ones. It is one of the good ones. Yeah. I would consider you one of the good ones. Uh, mm. Me. That's mm-hmm. fair. That's fair. Not me. Not me. I, I, I'm, I'm just an utter disappointment. One of the good no, you're, what's? You're a bad boy. One of the good what's, though? You know. I don't know. Whatever. What do you identify as? Uh, uh, whites. Yeah, white. <laughs> I'm one of the good you're whites. You're one of the good ones. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We're gonna. You know what? Somebody needs to make Ben up. We're building bridges or a wrestling belt. One of the good whites. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I I have to set an example somewhere. You know, you got people like JF mm-hmm. murdering his girlfriend, fucking it all up for the rest of us. That's right. When can the white? Yeah, it, does that have any updates or what? Um. No, I don't think so. I think I think the you know the the Mounties still have her listed as a missing person. Yep. Uh, but I don't know. They they definitely haven't found a trace of her anywhere. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all of the all of the evidence was consumed by uh, locals in uh, in in where is is he's in Alberta or mm. Quebec? Quebec. He, I is thought it, he was Quebec. Yeah, he's in Quebec. Quebec. Wow, for sure. It, 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 some some confused locals uh, were invited to a dinner party and consumed all of the evidence. So it's over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody kind of wants to see some sort of resolution to that story. Yeah. Oh, I do for sure. You know, I was uh, I was contacted. I was contacted by JF's ex girlfriend that was taken away from him by the state. And uh, after the after the, his last girlfriend went missing, she by the province. Yes. Well, no, no. It right. was it was by Texas. He was living. He was oh, living was in, in the Texas? St- oh, yeah. yeah. He was living in the states, and he was dating this girl that was nineteen, but. I guess she had like some kind of conservatorship over her and had yeah. the emotional maturity of like a 10 year old or something. And they took, they took her mm-hmm. away from him. Yeah. The yeah. ideal relationship. Yeah. <laughs> For him. Yeah, I suppose so. It seems <laughs> like uh, from, from what you told me, it seems like she's in a lot better place these days, which is cool. Yeah. But uh, his, I his other girlfriend's also in a better place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> than with him. <laughs> It's like the alternative. Jesus fucking Christ! Adam. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone's got to fill in for Scoot. 
with yeah. that. <laughs> you are kind of taking his place <laughs> on the panel. You're kind of going yeah. in his direction. I, I like I'm that. Going there. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to say that that tigers are better than lions? Um, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that's that. That's too far. That's that's a little, that's too extreme for me. <laughs> there are lines. There are lines you just can't cross, you know. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I do have the Mufasa trailer. I downloaded that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, no, so. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen oh. it? Okay. We'll we'll get your I don't know. your fresh reaction. Here it is. You're 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 sniping you're sniping the exclusive here. <laughs> Life, it's a delicate balance, a dance of light and shadow. Every paw print we leave, every roar we raise, shapes the destiny of the Pride Lands. Untold. That's just a shot from the other one. So it's a prequel, yeah. right? Also, there's a lot of these are yeah, a lot of these are just shots from the 2019 film. Huh. And why did they repeat the same line, like the untold story of Mufasa? Bam! The untold story of Mufasa. We that hmm. Mm-hmm. Did they say show that twice? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go the, back and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You're Witness. crazy. Yeah, yes. they did. Oh, it does it. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... Okay, this is a fake trailer. Is it fake? This is a fake trailer. Huh. So you got goofed. So studio. That's I, why it's... A, that's, so there's, there's like, I think, three shots... Let me see if that I... they released as promotional images. Yes. Yeah, if this wasn't an upload from, like, Disney or something, then you got goofed. I probably did. Because they, they, there's, there's three... Promo- so one of those shots... There, there's yeah this is this is a fan this is what people fucking do this is what people did all the time on the early internet yep you know is you just make a fake trailer and then you get the hype of people like searching for the trailer for a new release or something and anime music videos i do wit- i do kind of miss those though those are pretty good amvs there's some people still making them now i really? don't trust any of these yeah. did they no, not put crazy. it did they not put out a trailer? No, for... they 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 posted like three gifs wor- worth like ten. I mean, five seconds. They posted five seconds of shit, basically. That's not. It's not a trailer. They're like first look. They're like kind of drumming okay. up the hype. Well, then fuck this. Some of those appear. I know. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I, that's even better. Yeah. I, I can't. That's even better. <laughs> I can't wait. So yeah, a lot of footage from the 2019 film. Yeah, yeah. that's so funny. Okay. And then the Pro Studio logo in the corner. That's also hilarious. Kind of a giveaway, yeah. I, I can't uh, wait. Yeah, there's a... Uh, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say, I can't wait until this movie comes out and then Grimes talks about how her kid is going to be just like Mufasa and face mm. just like Mufasa. No, yeah, it's fucking My crazy. I bet I could probably search for this. Also love that Adam is here, too. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, I, I bet I could search for this in my YouTube history or maybe even my favorites list. Uh, cause I've added some of these ironically and also cause they're kind of funny, but there are some people still doing like AMVs and they just will show up in my recommendations. Um, cause they're like Lion King AMVs. Uh, oh, <laughs> um, and it's so weird and so funny because they're so like they'll, they'll do one of a character, but the characters in in like a ninety minute movie for maybe like eight minutes of the runtime or something, and right. so these all of these same videos just keep reusing the exact same shots over and over. Sometimes they'll like flip them or slow mo. Some of them get really creative and they'll like key out a character and they'll be like, "I'm shipping these two lions that were never in a relationship in the movie," and As they'll like going to take an one from one scene and one from another and scene I'm and planning to fuck a furry. What's my first step? What's your oh. first step to fucking a furry at the anime convention? Yeah. Are you planning on doing it consensually? Or are you going to look for a furry there? Like, what, do you have plans? <laughs> that's a good, that's a valid question. And like, what, what degree of furry are we talking about? Is it just like, yeah, I'm cute with the tail and, and the ears. Are you wanting to, are you wanting to hump a fursuit? Like what, like there's, there's a, there's a, I, having been, Adam took me to the only furry convention I ever went to. I can tell mm-hmm. you there's a spectrum Many spectrums uh, in the furry conventions that, uh, you know, a whole, a whole, whole gamut. Mm-hmm. 
You're gonna you're gonna have to pick uh, what exactly you're looking for. You fell through a wall. I I broke the yip room. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a fun. That was a fun week. Have you? Uh, I've taken I've taken <laughs> like so many YouTube personalities to furry conventions. <laughs> it's a great time. I got wasted. I saw everybody cute. enjoys it. Yeah. The cuties competition and those two bitter queens oh, yeah. sitting next to me and just like talking so much shit about all the people on stage. One of my favorite mm-hmm. memories of the trip. It was great. Have yeah. you There's uh, a flavor to it? Have you guys yeah. seen the the Bambi the Reckoning trailer? No. Is it a real trailer? And I not think. A fan trailer? I hope so. At this point, <laughs> I don't have time to watch them all, so I don't know. Right, let's see. Let's see. Bambi the Reckoning. Oh, is it because it went public domain or some shit? People are like, I think Did it? so. Is Bambi public domain now. Because I think this is a horror adaptation of Bambi. Yeah, a g- gimmick film. You have what a shot the... there. No. <laughs> Where have you? Yeah. Once. Bambi's dead, and now there's a revenge. Obviously. Some bad CGI. We're the only two two Very. Critic I respect. The rest of them are hacks who don't know film. All their reviews of the Star Wars prequels are embarrassing. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So that was it. So interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, somebody's confused about the cuties competition. It's basically a talent show for furries. They just call it's it a the beauty cuties. pageant. Yeah, it's a beauty it's cutie pageant. pageant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely no, not it's no. Where everybody we... got together and watched the film cuties. Yes, over and over and over again, like Groundhog Day. And the competition yeah. part is that you, the whoever can sit there the longest and watch it wins. Whoever comes last. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Scott joke, too. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I was thinking it, and I'm like, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. It's funny. Yeah. Adam, last time we hung out, I told you about Eric July, because you had never heard of him. And uh, he, uh-huh. um, so he, he makes, like, comic books that are non-woke, because he thinks... You know, comic book. This is just a movie for the Dear Avenger video game series from back in the nineties and early two thousands. It's a real trailer, okay? But yeah, uh, ooh, I know what Dear Avenger is. By the way, I played that on PC. Eric July works for Glenn Beck. He's a he's a black guy. He works for Glenn Beck. He's one of the good ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, is yeah, you know what I mean. (laughs) And and uh, and and what happened was he started this comic book company to try and like make non-woke comics and i guess eventually movies he has a character coming out mm. called horseman or horseman he wants to pronounce it horseman yes. but it looks like okay. horseman you know and and it looks like he's wearing one of those like bdsm horse hoods too oh shit yes okay. like a leather one yeah let me see if i can find a picture of it is it so that's a like a comic book type th- is it like an adult comic book no, uh, no i don't think so I think it's just for kids. It's trying to be like mainstream, the new oh. mainstream comic. Okay. That's Horseman. Zoom in on that. I can't, I need to see that more clearly. <laughs> Let me see if I can go to the <laughs> site really quick. I, it, it's, it's, I, there's plugins that you can get for Chrome. I have one called Imagus, I M A G U S, where if you hover over an image, it gives you the full resolution image within your window. So you don't have to do this nonsense, especially yeah. with Google cracking down on the it's true. Uh, image and new tab or whatever. All right. Yeah, this is what it looks like. But he's all mad that people are like, because Dick, Ma- <laughs> Dick Masterson trolls Eric July a lot. And uh, 
and Dick Madison was like, oh, it's mm-hmm. Horseman. And then people were drawing better looking versions of what they thought Horseman should look like. I mean, this list looks more like an Anubis. Yeah. From this angle. The, the Egyptian god. It doesn't god. even look like a horse at all. Yeah. <laughs> Especially like the, the coloring and, and Anubis. Long. Also, scroll down. Horses need hooves. Okay. The oh. horse with feet thing. Not True. a fan. True. He, uh, it, it's, I'm, I'm better, very uh, strict terrible. about that. They made a live action. The only, the only horse furries with characters that have feet instead of hooves are foot fetishes. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> it's true. It's literally true. Every if there's not a single horse furry that decides to have feet aesthetically, unless they're like they jerk off to it. Do you know who the Soska sisters are? I think they're Canadian. No. So they're they're like twin they're identical twins and they direct mostly horror movies but something happened because because mm-hmm. Eric July's been making millions of dollars off these comic books so they teamed up with him and they made this live action trailer for one of the comic books and we've watched it on the show before but I wanted you to see it to to get your opinion yes. on it um uh, so yeah here it is it, it's for Thank Yaira it, it's called Yaira Yaira yeah. Yay, rah. Yeah. <laughs> I th- was that fucking Miles Morales in one of those frames? Like, <laughs> uh, they they hate Miles Morales, and they always talk about how he can't be oh. the real Spider-Man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be tough. I think they filmed this in Vancouver. I train my body to do things that people like me shouldn't be able to do but unfortunately for me <laughs> flying i've heard this music before ain't one of them don't follow me <laughs> there's like a, there's some production value here a, i thought it would be like a really low budget i mean it, yeah it's no, it doesn't look it doesn't look high high budget but like yeah, the audio mix on it was really fucking bizarre, though. Like, he slams into the car, and you can hear some random chick in the side going like, Don't follow me! Like, what, what is yeah. that about? Yeah. They're yeah. an NPC. Um, I guess so. They got aggroed. They, yeah. they, the main character... <laughs> the main character, they make her have this really bad accent, and it makes it really difficult to understand what she's saying. Undeniable you'll you'll say asset here at Projexus. Won't you please join me in welcoming her to our team, Dr. Sally Rodell. There's definitely a vibe. Or to die. <laughs> Secure the area until Oscorp can arrive. Solari! Save us! This does look like Vancouver. Yeah. The law of the Earth. Verily, few things have the ability to survive the test of time. Though we may not be around to see them to their fullest fruition, what we struggle to create now will be the triumphant echoes. Yeah, and I was like, oh, did, did they just hire an actress that had some kind of accent? And I couldn't place the that, accent. That's been human trafficked from somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Looked, I looked her up. I, I found her online, and she's from, like, Alberta. I think originally. Oh, so she's doing a pretend Russian accent. Something yeah. like that, yeah. But is just bad at it. Yes. From the past. be here five minutes. Hold the line. Five minutes? Ha. 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 heads up. I was here. I lived. I am still here. I'm on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't understand why she shoots the laser like up. It's a trope. Oh, I'm pretty sure they did that in like Suicide Squad. <laughs> Sweet dreams, children. Okay. What the fuck? It is that struggle that is the affliction of creation. I would like to thank Mister Eusebio for allowing me the opportunity to discover and create. 
The don't Hello. follow me was meant to be Yaria telling Isom that after she throws him into that car but Eric is a dummy and didn't convey that way to someone who isn't already familiar with Isom. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for explaining that. esteemed colleagues at Projectus. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that said pro pro Jesus. <laughs> pro, I mean, Eric July is very pro Jesus. So, yeah, uh, his he made a one of his characters is, is called Isom, and he's like a self insert character, and he has a little crucifix just above his junk. It's a it's a mm. weird place for an insignia because most superheroes have their like insignia on their chest. Kind of, yeah, kind of. Okay, it's. It's it's he's wearing one of those like skin tight bodysuits, the stereotypical Ooh. superhero one, and it's it's right mm -hmm. above his junk. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. It's just an unusual area of expertise to pair with biology. Well, Dr. Rodell, from my understanding, <laughs> is an unusual woman. Don't be threatened, Jerry. She's on our side. Congratulations. Ah, congratulations. Photo. What the? So what's the, what's the what's the point of any of this? Like they've been directed. This these are the Canadian sisters you're talking about. Like who are who are they? The the Soska. People, what's this called? The so this is a, a live action trailer for a comic book that's coming out in a few months. That they they crowdfund the comic, so they sell a couple million dollars worth of this comic, and then they print it out and what's ship it. Called? it. This one's called Yaira, uh, Y A I R Y A I R A, I believe. Um, and the the Yaira the, number one official live action trailer is yep. an IMDb page. Yeah, someone listed the trailer <laughs> for the film. Yeah, on IMDb as its own film. Yeah, interesting. Okay, and then Eric July made the comic. Okay. Yeah. You took that like a chomp. You you, okay. She said, she either just said you took that like a champ or you took that like a chump. I, I heard chump. I heard chump. Yeah. Is it the but accent? Who knows? Are you trying to knock me who out? knows? I have no idea. What, what, one more time. I just want to hear it. Hold on. <laughs> Took that like a chomp. Are you trying to knock me out? No. Chomp. It was meant to be a dip. Chomp. The accent's crazy. Yeah. Why? Uh, Written, directed by the Soska Sisters. Produced by the Soska Sisters. And that's such a weird place to end it. Apparently, do you know the. Do you know the movie See No Evil with uh, Kane? Insane Kane? Yes, they directed it. Apparently, yeah, apparently there was a sequel to it that they directed. Yeah. They didn't direct the first one. Right. I didn't even know there was a sequel. Yeah. <laughs> I guess there's I guess they did a movie cuz they've done some kind of like low budget horror movies in the past and they did one where they peed on each other or something. <laughs> I don't oh. know. Yes. Yeah, it looks like they've only directed really bad things. Yes. And then she comes back and says something at the end here. That's the actress, Morgan so, Boot. Is it crowdfunded? You As know what? In, like, is it successful? They claim it's not crowdfunded, but it basically is. Um, and uh, according, so they don't have like a campaign. Or... Well, they do have a campaign, but it's on their own website. So the numbers, we just have to take their word for it that oh. the numbers are where they say they are. Um, okay. Who knows? Uh, there, there are some people that have gotten involved that are that are comic book professionals that have been around. Uh, no. There's money in it, so. The thing about Eric July is that it, it doesn't matter if some there's obviously people that like his comics and there but he can't ignore the people that hate his shit. He has to respond, so he's kind mm. of a lol cow in that respect. 
Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Dick Masterson has been milking him for content for about a year now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Does he make like video responses? Yeah, and and then uh, they ended up on the same panel discussion once, and it's funny. Yeah, because Eric is incapable <laughs> of defending his his work, but he gets really butthurt mm-hmm. about it. He can't just not reply. It, it's kind of a weird lol cow trait. He's like a successful lol cow, you know. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. How successful are we talking? Because like I wouldn't know of him without. Well, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, you know, each book crowdfunds, you know, in the seven figures. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like if that, you, well, so like allegedly, we mean like according to them. Yes. Alleged. Or like, is there is there any kind of paper trail for that? There's no real paper trail. It's all what he posts on his uh, okay. website. He, he does seem to have a lot of money to throw around, but he also does still work for Glenn Beck. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, ooh, I mean, yeah, and, and that's when it comes to like these types of uh, this is all grievance politics. The only reason why Isom, Eric July, all this shit, why they have any traction at all is because they market to people's grievances. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I, I'm familiar with that quite well. And so the, and that's like how the whole thing plans out. But there's so much background money for that specific astroturfing too, right? For, uh, yeah, astroturfing. There's a lot of money in that, so you can find people that are invested in the culture war that will give you shit tons of money to make it seem you like know, you're very useful. Do you know who? Uh, you know who Eric July live streams with regularly? That heel versus baby face guy, the fucking pronouns nice. guy. So, the meme, it, yeah. The meme that like it's funny because he could have just like responded to that the heels versus babyface thing. He could have responded to that being like, okay, like I overreacted, I like I was heated or whatever. But he instead made a video where he was like, so apparently I triggered some babies on the internet. <laughs> and it was like, okay, you were the one that was like crying <laughs> yeah it's Literally, true like, <laughs> like, my headphones off. <gasps> like he has to catch his breath and shit yeah. like he's literally fucking like he is the soy jack meme he, so, there's no self-awareness to it it's crazy so but according Rock- to them 3.7 million dollars in sales on the, this was their first book that they put out right. uh and this is the okay. the current yaira campaign and they're they're claiming 1.3 million and the the campaign. It's interesting yeah. that it's not on something like Kickstarter, and it's through their own website. Funny how that works. I don't I don't see that like ever. Yeah, and each book has like four covers too, and these the, these fanboys will buy you know four different copies of the same book just because it has a different cover. Uh, they, it's really that's fun, but the it's biggest really success and in... source of pride for Eric is of course the warehouse. Oh yeah, he has a warehouse. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got a warehouse. Uh, the, I, I do, there's every now and then you run into one of the Eric July fanboys that are like, you know, pond scum YouTubers. And, uh, when pressed on it, they'll show you like, I, I've got this edition, I've got this edition, I've got this edition, I've got this edition. And if you ask them a question about like what's in the comic book, they're like, well, I haven't read it yet. Yeah. What do you like about it? Oh yeah. It, it, yeah. It's a collectible the, to the... show your allegiance to the anti woke Exactly. <laughs> someone right. made someone made a <laughs> someone made um uh, like a new version of that trailer and edited it and, and uh made it Gyra. So she's Gyra now. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Obviously just in it for the money productions. It's the Soska sisters with a pile of money. This is going to be a tough one. They're using AI for Eric July's voice. My name is Anus. Anus Silly Man. Huh. It's like that's that's what that's what the movie Hancock should have been. And that's why here at Pro <laughs> Penis, we developed the biggest dicks a human can get. But I tell you, God. I almost thought that was Derek Savage when the voice started. <laughs> it did kind of sound like him. So will you please enjoy this wiper from our team? Giant John Wodick. <laughs> <laughs> Drop 
Oh, wow. Ice cream. Ice cream. Wait, wait, wait. Ice cream. This is, this is ice chocolate cream. cones. Get so four or five. This is suit yourself. This is yes. fucking phenomenal. Yes, this, this is, is suit yourself. Yeah. Go. Okay. Take a piss to my sister. I gotta take a piss on my sister. Love and go. <laughs> five ways your penis can be extended. <laughs> the classic. Hold on. Fat boys. Just walk around. There's a, there's Dookie on the ground there. Oh uh, yeah. I could jump and shit. <laughs> there's some fun edits here. Standing, I can. All right. The hell? <laughs> <laughs> um, I posted something in the chat that is kind of like in the same topic of conversation as this. It's short, but I don't Rogue know if you can. elements? Let's see. Yeah. So uh, the critical drinker wrote a movie and released a trailer oh. on his channel. Oh, yeah. And oh. Uh, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Did you see how him and Pierce Morgan are like buddies now? And Pierce Morgan. I uh, I haven't watched that video. That's on my. I think that's on my list of things to eventually get to. Yeah. All right. Here's here's. The I'm thing. Cur I'm very curious about that. I watched it. They had Nerd Roddick on too, and it's basically. I I wouldn't be surprised if Pierce Morgan joins the Ripperverse eventually too. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Special cameo. Bravo, I found a target. I count five guys inside that room. Hold on, Alpha. Let me check the schematics and see if there's another entry point. <sighs> no time for that. No time for that. Going loud. Good titles, good logos. Last year, one of your CIA Shepherd teams infiltrated a maximum security prison. Their target was an operative identified by the code name Maras. So, something that's kind of like eye opening to the, this kind of like anti woke crowd is like when you see them create art of their own. It's really a lot of it is just trying really hard to be existing things. And yeah. I think that I think that that kind of fits with the psyche of like things should be familiar. Things should be this thing that I've already seen is essentially what a lot of them wind up saying. Yeah. Right. Um, without as saying it as explicitly, but basically saying that. And so then it's, you know, just seeing seeing them create art of their own is just like, oh, wow, you've made something that's like completely indistinguishable from just like a, a straight to dvd version of something that i guess you like like yeah. some sort of tom <laughs> story like <laughs> well i mean and it's the the other thing too is like the 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 grievances are always they're superficial you know like this this yaira thing that we just watched there july and shit mm. very woke eric very woke like, haven't we had enough of women leading can we please get some more men please uh, it's I, there, there's so many ways like if you just applied evenly the most bananas batshit common grievances that they constantly have half of their art would be trashed as well it's very weird yeah so we don't have to watch this whole trailer it's literally just a bunch of the same stuff like we gotta go to tango blah, blah, blah. the <laughs> line at the end is very funny yeah skimming through it you're getting the exact same experience yeah. it's just like uh, people saying people's names uh, the line, the line at the end is funny though. This, if this feels. Kill you. I feel the only people dying today are those fuckers. All of them. Good line. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> A good. Ryan Drake story. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> The 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 kind of like shot composition and the coloring reminds me a lot of that uh that Jim Caviezel movie that came out. Passion uh, of the Christ. No, 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 no. The one that they artificially inflated by, like, uh, by the next person. Oh, yeah, yeah, the fucking Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom, the yeah. one, The one where if you don't support the film, you're a pedophile. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Why, why would you not support this film unless you want to have sex with children? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a fun uh, argument. 
So I just just randomly because I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you in a little while. I know that you talked Ooh. about uh, Cade the Tortured Crossing on Star Trek. Yes. Uh, yes, I did. But uh, have you gotten a chance to watch it again since then? I've watched it twice. Yeah. Have you? Okay. Uh, yeah, in theaters. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm still waiting for it to come to my city. Uh, so I can't really talk about how I saw it, but, um, of course uh, there it, it's, it's, it's next level. And I've been like struggling because I, uh, I want to constantly fucking talk about it with people and memory, mm-hmm. will, memory will not humor me about Neil Breen anymore. She just won't. Oh, that was, th- this film was like kind of polarizing even among Neil Breen's fans. They're like, the whole thing's just green screen. It's so boring. But I love, I love how that, how he like kind of changed it up. And Mm -hmm. I love how relentlessly unsatisfying things are, but there's also really good setups and payoffs in the, there are, (laughs) there's, there's some great setups and great payoffs, even though a lot of it is just the same thing over and over again. It it is. That's, that's part of what, that's part of the magic of the film. Right. Right. You have to pay like way more attention to actually understand to get those payoffs. You know, they're, mm. they're still mm. and it does feel it's like a very dense film. It is very dense. Uh, and it feels like you're watching the old video game Phantasmagoria from. Yeah, um, I remember somebody, that. Um, game. Somebody made like a, a trailer edit. Let's see. Neil Breen. Hold on. This is a really good video. When are we gonna have a Kekistani uh, movie? As soon as I get funding. All right, I'm posting that this in the chat because mm-hmm. you're you're exactly right. Um, and somebody made like a really short edit in this in the um, same vein. I I, um, I, have I have to know. Yeah, it's like the the he doesn't often talk about the decisions going into his movies, and like people have tried to interview him and pry him. Right. on the the decisions made for the movies my theory for this film is that it was like a covid movie because every all of his other films had like real sets or locations yeah and you know with twisted pair came out like 2018 mm-hmm. i don't know how long it takes for him to like film and make a movie i would have just assumed that the entire filming took place like 2020 2021 or whatever i think that's a pretty um, yeah. Yeah. And so he just like he's like, okay, well, we can just do everything in front of a green screen. Yeah. And then it worked it, out. <laughs> it does. It, does feel, it feels like there are not any more than three people on the same stage at this. Time. <laughs> yeah. So they are really and, and so wasted. Because of that, it probably would have taken a long time to edit. So yeah. I I love but it. I didn't have I it until now. Absolutely brilliant and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> wow, yeah. I wanna see where my money's been going. Huh? <laughs> it's perfect. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> you don't want to hurt me anymore. This is incredible. There's a huge increase in the amount of kidnapping of the youths and runaways that are being used for medical testing. Uh, we'd like you to keep a lookout for any irregularities that might happen at your lab. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford to lose any. Patients are money. <laughs> Amazing. They are coming for you, my warrior. <laughs> this is what I've been preparing you for. Even the audio sounds really digitized. Yeah. Like an early did, yeah. 90s game. Yeah, yeah. That's so yeah. awesome, dude. Oh, my God. Shout out to Johannes Larson. Yeah. The uploader, I guess. Yeah, amazing. Great he, edit. Great edit. I, uh, and I still I cannot I cannot get past the fact that he he's so bold that he sees the opportunity to have himself fight a fucking tiger and he's like nah I'm fucking doing it I don't give a fuck dude I'm hell fighting. yeah yeah it's cool as fuck love it if uh, if if K the Torture Crossing is coming to your city I don't even know how you check at this point maybe Twitter or something oh my god go yeah. see it in theaters it's amazing 
Um, movie recommendation for you right now. Mm-hmm. They might they're they're in theaters in a few different places, but they'll be on digital in like a week. Hundreds of beavers. Everybody I've shown loves that fucking movie. Um, it's it's one of the funniest fucking things like ever, and uh, I've I've seen it like ten times. It's okay. crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm putting it on my list. Hundreds of beavers. Everybody check out hundreds of beavers. It comes out on digital in a week, and if you go to their official website, you might see some uh, in person screenings, which I would highly recommend because it's great in a crowd. Hmm. Okay. Everyone, please like Couldn't the stream. Recommend it enough. Everybody you, see it. If you haven't already, please like the stream. And uh, I, I watched a documentary today on Netflix. It was uh, the anti-social network. It was about like the history of 4chan oh, yeah. and then how it like slowly became, you know, Gamergate, and then it morphed into the Occupy stuff. Or no, it was the Occupy stuff before Gamergate, and then yeah. and then how it eventually spawned 8chan and all the QAnon stuff and all that. It was interesting because they had the founders <laughs> of the websites in the documentary. Moot? Yeah, yeah. Huh. It was there. There was a... Um, did you ever check out... It's called Feels Good Man. It's a doc- documentary about the Pepe meme. No. Oh, yeah. It's really good. It's really good. And um, I kind of go into a section about they, that. They didn't ask me to be in that documentary. What? I don't know if it played in Canada, but will you eventually watch and review Godzilla Minus One? If you go to my YouTube channel, click on the live tab, and then click on 2023 Quickie Catch Up Part One, and then go to the comments section where someone has time stamped where that review is, you'll hear me talk about that film. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Follow those instructions. Yep. Don't feel bad. I watch it, almost all of Adam's content, but I still miss it. And every now and then when we're hanging out, I'm like, dude, you know what you should watch? And you're like, yeah, no, I already did. <laughs> God damn it. I'm like, shit. Fuck. Sorry, man. I missed that one. Uh, it's all good. I'm going to play some of the videos you sent me before we went live. Yes. Okay. This is a song? Sure. Oh, yeah. This is... So what the, the backstory to this is apparently... Uh, my when my dad was visiting me in Vancouver like a month or two or, ago, he started just like saying this fucking nonsense. <laughs> I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Oh, you know the song, Punter to Walk In." I'm like, "No, I don't know that song." And apparently, this was like on Canadian radio stations at some point. Hmm. And uh, uh, we got to wait for Jeff to come back, so okay. I'll, I'll say a little bit more because he would love this song. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's infected my brain since, and uh, Hunter to Walk In is, I guess, the uh, tribe or land where the uh, singer is from. Uh, he's like a native yeah. uh, Canadian, yeah. and um, it's it's very magical. Hmm. You can yeah. you can start playing it now and see if uh, we can replay some bits for Jesse. All right. Wants. Okay, it already sounds like a Wesley Willis song at the beginning. Oh, yeah, I get Yeah. It's a very Wesley Willis type. Okay. Plugging a walking. Plugging a walking. <laughs> That's where I come from. Plugging a walking. <laughs> That's where I was born. <laughs> <laughs> it's really infectious. I let Buggin' a walkin' for 20 long years. <laughs> I'd always come back to Buggin' a walkin'. This Missy River. <laughs> Jeff, do you hear? It's a fucking butt. Do we need to start it over for you? No, I think it gets back to the chorus. Okay, all right. That's where I come from. Good 
Canadian legends. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Some cut the comment, that's where I watch porn. <laughs> that's what it did sound like. <laughs> All right. So this one is Werewolf. Werewolf. Okay. So the story behind there's two there's two short videos next to each other. One of them's Werewolf Real and one of them is Hulk Real. And it's just this this weird when YouTube started out there was such little available content on the website. And sometimes if you just had the right title and thumbnail, you could get a lot of views for no reason. Yeah. yeah. Even if the video had nothing to do with it. And the thumbnails were like auto generated from like the middle of the video or whatever. Yeah. And for some reason I found these two videos just so fucking funny to me when I was younger. And I spent like a decade trying to find them, but I was like, I couldn't find them in the search algorithm. But then they allowed you to sort by like upload date in reverse and so i was like oh yeah i finally found them and that's it that's the whole story okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> werewolf real r-e-a-l <laughs> <laughs> and no audio <laughs> what's on his teeth braces <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right that's... Wait, I, I guess that's it okay now we know where m night got the idea for split <laughs> next is yes. hulk real hulk, hulk real. real i think this one has 1.2 million views Jeez. just because because that's what it like it would just get in the algorithm <laughs> people see the thumbnail it's like oh is it a real hulk <laughs> and like kids would click on it or whatever and it's literally just some guy taking a big shit with like the <laughs> shittiest webcam <laughs> totally i don't know why i found this so good <laughs> it's like a classic in my memory this video preview and shit too it's great <laughs> and then he's oh, calm again egg, so egg. he was showing off his body transformation he's like i can make my chest that appear small and then sounds like it flare up my muscles by a drunk john denver yeah. Yeah. Mm. A drunk den. A don't drunk drink in Denv. No. <laughs> Never. I'm gonna take a very quick pee before we yeah. start the other one. Totally. Okay. Not even really quick. All right. Yeah. I I did like that song though. That's uh, Pat Pat Pateke Wag Wagen. That's where he's from. Everyone, please like the stream. We need as many likes as we can get. And if you have questions for us uh, while we're streaming, feel free to send them in. Links right there in the chat. We appreciate it. Uh, it's a it's a new week, a new goal. We're already at sixteen point two two percent. That's good. It's amazing. 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 Crob. Need to put this guy in the Avengers. Absolutely. Absolutely. He had some pretty big traps when he was flexing them. They yeah. Looking, yeah. 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 Dude's he, built better than Sneeko. <laughs> Sneeko. <laughs> yeah. I um, really. Okay. <coughs> I I hate to admit this, but I'm gonna admit this because it's like it's it's so fucking weird to me. Uh, back when I was kind of like in, in that anti SJW phase and shit, way back in the day. Uh, I swear, a million years ago, guys. Um, I found Sneeko when he was still like kind of like a young brat. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. This kid's actually pretty fucking smart. He, this kid's pretty fucking he's smart. He's dumb then, as like, shit now. Well, I know, I know. And then like four and a half, five years ago, I like saw he didn't post forever. And he posted one. I'm like, wow, this kid's a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Jeff, if you're not on <laughs> tour when uh, they have the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight, you should come on the stream when we watch it. Absolutely. It's in July. Absolutely. It's sometime in July. I don't have a tour in July, so yeah, oh. I'll do it. Well, there you go. Yeah. Who do you think's going to win? I have no idea. Um, the memes. Yeah, I. you know, if Mike Tyson doesn't win in like the first two rounds, then Jake Paul will probably just outpace him, and it'll go to decision. And even if Jake Paul lands like weak shots, as long as he lands them, he'll win in the scoring. Mm-hmm. So that's probably, but if Mike Tyson hits him really hard, 
you know, right at the beginning, he could beat him really easily. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm anticipating it to go yeah. without having any real knowledge of the sport. <laughs> Mike Tyson still has a lot of for for a guy that's you know as old as he is that's pushing sixty. He has he still has the speed. He just has natural muscle mass. You know, he was yeah. he was fighting 18 and 20 year olds when he was 15. They were lying and saying he was over 18 and he was going into these boxing mm. tournaments and fighting grown men and destroying them when he was a, a teenager. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so, yeah, he was just a pro- he still has it to a degree. And Jake Paul's a bum. Like if he couldn't fight a re- like an actual good boxer, that's good today. Like a young boxer, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens. That's why. That's why all these matches are gimmick matches. It's always a gimmick. That was a that was a good Streamlabs though. Uh, they were curious about thoughts on um, Alien Romulus, and if you before it comes out, if you're going to do a watch along of Alien Resurrection, which I don't know why anybody would do that. I mean, I could see myself doing that because that's the one I haven't. Out of the first four Alien movies, that's the one that I've is the furthest back in terms of how recently I saw it. And I would love to revisit. And it's kind of a funny little anomaly. It's from the director of Amelie. (laughs) Right. French movie. (laughs) Is that the strange choices were made on that movie? Resurrection is, is Sigourney Weaver in that one? Yeah. Yeah. She's like a cloned Ripley, right? She's not the original Ripley. She's like a clone or something. It's something like that. Yeah. I remember she, there was water in it. <laughs> I want to say she's Ripley 9, Ripley 7, Ripley 8, something like that, because they, they kept, like, failing to clone her, and she has, like, acid blood, and she's super strong. Oh, like strong. a xenomorph. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm. she's a super soldier. Interesting. Like, I'm, I'm scared of xenomorphs. They, sorry, I'm a xenophobe. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Uh, I am really excited. There was a Robert game Ford. called Xenophobe. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Hold on. No. Hold on. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was the funniest little memory. Eureka. <laughs> there was a game called Xenophobe. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like... Who, so... Yeah, Xenophobe. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want uh, X-Men look, 97, and it, they, Adam. Is Wolverine really a Canadian with his attitude? He is Canadian. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Xenophobe. Xenophobe stole uh, the like the design for the Xenomorph too. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. For Nintendo, it's, it's so a weird. Fun game. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, That's like, yeah. You know, I find it funny how sometimes pop culture things just become like a genre. Yeah, yeah. like zombies. You know, one, at one point that was an original concept. Where are you going to say, Jeff? Uh, I was going to say X Men ninety seven is pretty fucking badass. I like so it. I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's really good. Um, I am also really fucking excited for Alien Romulus. I I am a huge uh, Fede Alvarez fan, and I, I just a I huge think... Fede Alvarez fan. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. All right. What's wrong with Fede Alvarez? Well. Didn't love the Evil Dead remake. Loved it. Um, Absolutely loved it. Loved it. I liked parts of it. I liked. I liked the gore. There was some fun gore stuff. Yeah. Um, and then ever since then, he's kind of just been like doing these weird, like borrowing from Fincher things. Like there's so much of of Don't Breathe. Like all of these like computer generated like kind of. Uh, flowing shots going through the house where I'm like, this is so borrowed from panic room. And there were some dumb things that happened. I I liked don't breathe. I would probably like watch it again sort of thing. Yeah. Because it's not like offensively bad, but I'm like, it's kind of weird watching this director's trajectory where first I notice he's, he's borrowing from Fincher. Then mm. the movie he makes after that is literally a sequel to a Fincher movie. The, girl with the dragon tattoo sequel which i found kind of funny like, uh, hmm, uh, who do we get oh yeah the guy that's kind of trying to be fincher and now he's working on another franchise that fincher made a movie for so it's kind of it's just a funny trajectory but i'll, I'll be i'll be cautiously optimistic about the new alien because you know couldn't be worse than covenant probably right probably not probably not i i guess like yeah. my 
I, I like Don't Breathe. I never actually saw Panic Room, uh, if I'm being honest. I just never got around to it. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, you might you might be onto something with that. It really is. It comes down to I'm I'm a huge Evil Dead fan. I have been mm-hmm. my fucking life. Uh, I I love Sam Raimi most of the time, uh, <laughs> and uh, so it, it's it's really exciting for me that uh, somebody took um, uh, Evil Dead and did something distinctly different and you know over the top with it. And I like I really. What do you like- think of the? Uh- Sorry. Yeah. What do you think of the the new new Evil Dead? The I forget the title. Uh, Evil Dead Rise. The one in the apartment. Yeah, Evil Dead Rise. I like that more than Fede Alvarez's one. Uh, you know, I think one of the things that I loved about it was that it was different enough. Uh, that uh, I I don't even know if I can. It's I I loved it. I loved it. I loved I mm-hmm. loved. Fede Alvarez is Evil Dead, and I love that one too. I don't know if I could compare them though, because they're like just they're, they're very right. different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's what I liked more about it is that it was being its own thing. Because watching the Fede Alvarez one, I'm just like, it's modernizing something. Like, sure, the gore effects are great, but like the rest, of, like the whole cabin in the woods thing, and I didn't like any of the characters. And like, if you're gonna modernize it, then you should polish up some of these other things too. The whole fucking one of my, one of my kind of pet peeves is when someone shoots a, a a plastic jerry can of gasoline and it explodes. I'm like, <laughs> come on, out. Spider-Man. True. Like, if, 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 if you the did it in the Sam Raimi, Raimi version, then sure, because the whole thing's so fucking cheesy right. and doesn't take itself so seriously. But when you're going for that serious tone, when those sorts of things happen in it, then I'm kind of like, oh, it clashes, you know. I, I will say the. Uh... It, it, it was very strange, like, because I, it, there was something that I, I don't know, maybe it was your video talking about it, pointed out, but uh, somebody was saying that the characters in that movie, all of them are wildly fucking unlikable. And that's true. Mm-hmm. Although, uh, I, I guess kind of one of the interesting things about it is that by the end of it, because of how fucking insufferable everybody is, uh, you actually start to really, really like the main character, the, the main heroine. Not to be too much of a pun on that, if you've seen. The yeah, story. but that what that that's that's the thing is like every character. I I hate how many fucking especially modern horror movies do this. Is all of the unlikable characters you're kind of just rooting for them to die anyway? When it's like that's not a horror movie. That's like that's like a you know dumb like popcorn schlock sort of thing. And it's like it's if you're trying to modernize it and you're trying to invoke some sort of emotion of fear, make me feel bad or not want a character to die and then have terrible things happen to them because that is horror to me I'm, anyway. To be to be fair, like the like we were talking about the violence and the gore effects. I mean, even as much as I dislike those people, I didn't want them to die like that. Like <laughs> it was I, I don't know. It, it was uh it's it's a it's an interesting film, that's for sure. But, uh, uh real quick, what did you think of uh, Hellraiser remake? Oh, the uh the director Hulu one? Yeah. Um well <sighs> that's a tough one. Uh, cuz mm-hmm. like there's there's this huge huge spectrum by how you can judge Hellraisers. Obviously the first two are uh incredible, incredible films. Um, there are so many bad Hellraisers that some of them are gems where they're so bad they're fucking good. Like Hellraiser 4 is amazing. A dude with a fucking camera in his face is just, or one that spits DVDs. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I thought since um, since the first two, it was probably the, the, the most competently done. There is some really bad pacing issues with it that... Mm-hmm make it suffer a little bit but i thought it was pretty good what did you think about it i thought it was great honestly it, the the exact same issue i was talking about of like want wanting to have like empathetic characters experience like terrible things not yeah. or, or the fact that i don't want that to happen and the, the, the film is showing that to me getting an emotional reaction out of me like a legitimate one yeah. like that was in the movie and I, I i thought that the characters were like great and i thought that the um situations and motivations were really well done and uh sure it's not perfect um yep. but i i really enjoyed the new hellraiser i'm a i'm a david bruckner stan and uh i was sure. hoping that would be his like big break yeah. but uh, a lot of people felt really lukewarm on it so 
it's too bad. I I love the uh, the creative decisions they did and like changing the Cenobites. I really liked I liked that change. I thought it was great. Um, okay, sweet. sweet. You know, um, you know, it doesn't always have to be a goth leather daddy kind of shit throwback. And you can go you can go hard. Yeah, go hard. And they did. They went really hard in the design. I I loved it. Uh, I even loved. There was a really bold choice to be made in that movie, which is like the uh, I don't want to spoil too much if nobody's seen it, but like the uh, the bad guy, the secret bad guy. And he's he's in this contraption and it's mm-hmm. so fucking ridiculous. It's awesome. Like, it's yeah. awesome. It's a bold. Fucking well, that's it, it makes it like the cosmic horror that I like. Right. There's something that there's something that I gravitate towards in terms of like making is setting up a horror scenario that is impossible but operates in its own sense of logic where it's still scary where it's yeah. like this is existentially terrifying it's not just like oh there's a killer sort of thing absolutely um, yeah i i really I, I i love david bruckner yeah he uh wait, what did he do besides this one um, he did the ritual on netflix yes. which is very flawed but has like really awesome creature design Incredible direction. Um, Jesus Christ. He did the best segment from VHS, uh, Amateur Night, from the first movie where the guy has the, uh, uh, like, camera glasses and there's, like, the succubus or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that one was cute. Um, Yeah, he's uh, he's super talented and there's nothing that I've watched from him where I haven't been, like, impressed in some way. And I'm just waiting for him to be, like, a household name at some point because I really... He did the night house. The night house is great too. Yeah, night house yeah. again, flawed but like really cool shit. Do you know the the sort of perspective trickery in that movie was all like a real set? That wasn't like CG. Well, part elements of it like were no CG, like when the head turns in CG, but when it lines up, that's that was actually like a real bars. set. One asked the other if they'd do it with a trans woman if she's post op, and he said he would. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> have you seen uh this is this is the last thing i'm gonna ask jeff before we can watch some more shit okay. have you seen uh a 2007 film called the signal not to be confused <laughs> with many other films called the signal uh that are not from 2007 uh so this is this is the david bruckner one right uh, david bruckner I... directed one third of this movie and i'm posting oh. the imdb in chat okay because yeah. i think you would love this movie i don't think I have. Every time I think, I, I, I maybe it got recommended to me, but every time I hear the signal, I remember the uh, the sci-fi movie. Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know if you want to pause the trailer. I don't know if there's anything R-rated in it. Oh shit! In autoplay on the yeah, but it's a it's a that one's a uh, a movie that I watch every like however many years. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I'll uh, I'll have to check that out. Uh, you know, it, it it all it takes is one very good, competent movie, and I'll I'll check everything out. Like the um, God, who was it? Uh, it was the guy who made As Above, So Below. Uh, mm. uh, David, we know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, David Eric Dowd, uh, Dowdle, Dowdle, or whatever. Um, he, uh, I went on this this fucking kick, just wanting to watch everything that the guy fucking did. And uh, I haven't seen all of it yet, but that's who M. Night got to direct uh, Devil, which is really good. Mm-hmm. He keeps tapes, is, was pretty uh, competent. And uh, Can I, if you're going through all of his films, I need to give you a warning. Yeah. Because if you haven't seen Quarantine yet. I have not. That's a, that's a remake of a much better film. Much better Spanish film called Rec, R-E-C, 2007. I love it. So I beg you, you love Rec? You've seen it? I love Rec. I love Rec. Okay, yeah. Quarantine is just worse Rec. Okay. Yeah, Rec 1 and 2 are awesome. I won't fucking bother. Yeah. I love found I love found footage movies. I think they they I mean a lot most of the time they're shit, but like I like the uh, the genre because people can do some interesting stuff with them. I think that was my second review I ever posted on my entire channel was my me shitting on quarantine. Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Okay. Like very, very early YMS from when I uh didn't have as much uh <laughs> structure to, <Yeah. laughs> to my videos. <laughs> yeah, it was literally my second review. Hell yeah. What is uh what's Ian Crossland's sad comedy 
part two? Yes. So there's a part two is the a really good one. So this is this this it has a little bit of a story behind it. So Ian Crossland is um, a classic YouTuber that mm. I used to watch when I was like 15, 17. Um, and now it's crazy. He's a consistent co-host on uh, Tim Pool's show. Yep. He's, yep. he's Ian on Tim Pool. So at the time, Ian Crossland, when he was making YouTube comment, content of his own, went by CrossMac. Uh, that was his original channel name. And YouTube was such a small community at the time. And I had like maybe just a couple people that I watched. And it was just a bunch of people like expressing themselves and like vlogging or whatever. And I have vivid memories of like just watching almost all of his videos. And sometimes he'd just say such crazy shit. And then after a while, I realized that like he was just high for so <laughs> <laughs> for so many of his videos. He was just high out of his mind. So the first two that I linked you are these uh, classic little short compilations of just some of the craziest things he said that are very funny. Hmm. And then uh, the third video I'll give a little introduction to after, but okay. Okay. I I'm ex I'm excited to see early moon Lord. Let's, let's see this. Do you know why he's called moon Lord? I don't actually. You're about to find out. There's the co colony collapse disorder. These bees are dying off by the hundreds of thousands. They're just disappearing. Oh, bees. no. I think that the bees will die off in 2008, and the human race will die off in 2012. As it's going now. You ignorant fucks! Look how wide his pupils are. Oh, yeah. What language you his, speak? His pupils are huge. Yes. He's, right. literally, he's literally high out of his mind. I don't give a fuck how much money you have. You're There's a human. There's really weird... Um, it doesn't show it in these videos, but there were these like barely anybody was watching this shit at the time, but I was just watching it because YouTube was so small. Um, but there was like this kind of arc <laughs> where like w eventually he just showed up and he had a big bruise on his face. He's like, I got in a fight with my girlfriend. <laughs> and then there was like <laughs> like a year later, like his parents like were uploading their own videos being like. Ian, come talk to us because they were like genuinely concerned about him because he was literally just like posting these incoherent ramblings like every day. <laughs> it was crazy. Focus! There are other ways of getting resources. Mine the moon! Mine the moon! Put a fucking uh -huh. mining colony on the moon! Build a geosynchronous orbital platform above the Earth, attach a space elevator to it, Easily, you fucking ignorant fool! Put them there. <laughs> you fucking put them there. Put them there. What the fuck is your problem? Wow, look at that hair. Wow. I'm angry. Why are you doing this? We have to move now. What are you trying to accomplish here? Mind the see moon. See when their pupils are that big, you can actually see plankton controlling them. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We are. Fucked! What are you gonna do with it? Put up the fucking space station, build the elevator, and then do the same thing above the moon. Use a transport! <laughs> build the space program! Focus! You know what you're doing? You're spreading hate. You're like fucking <laughs> Hitler. This is a mess. This is a fucking mess. Now I feel angry. You're inciting anger all over the place. Do you not see people freaking out? People are subscribing to your shit because it's angry. I now he's on that the sun the consists of salt water. <laughs> That's why the surface of the sun is only 6,000 degrees. That so sound is weird. Water, this literal salt water, is reacting with the sun to create, is reacting with the electricity to create heat, which is cooling down all the other water and turning it into rock. <laughs> this is about did he edit that into his own video no no this, this is someone else's compilation shitting on him okay that's what i thought but i yeah. wasn't sure i'm like is it ironic is he trying to be funny no these these are these are un, these these original vlogs are like unedited turn webcam on ramble for 20 minutes and then right. post <sighs> yeah yeah the sun and the way the sun works and the reason that, that people constantly make new 
build or uh, the elevator he says, it'll be easy. You should inform Bill Nye, Isaac Arthur, and Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay. You know what? You know what's funny too is like, uh, if if he was still doing this shit today, I'd be watching him on my live stream once a month. Like, absolutely, absolutely. But instead, he's got to be like, hey, the the sad part is uh, that obviously he's on Tim Cast, but he's also probably the most intelligent one on that show. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. He's he's a wild card on that show. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's unfortunately just the type of person that is just so impressionable, like almost like Joe Rogan. Oh yeah, where like the the people he surrounds himself with, he kind of turns into in a way. Yeah, he needs he needs better influences. I love I love Ian. He's funny. It's made of fucking water. <laughs> I'm gonna play some music. Wow, his hairstyle changes so often. Go national, get national. <laughs> it's national, dude, and international on a big scale. <sighs> <laughs> A classic. Wild. <laughs> so which one <laughs> out of the other ones do you want me to play next with this guy? Um uh well sad sad comedy part two is like the good compilation. I don't remember the uh much of the sad comedy part one. The swimming in the stream of consciousness one is only there. I haven't seen this in maybe a decade. Um but when YouTube was a small community um, and literally there were video responses, he was like, he posted something called Swimming in the Stream of Consciousness. And he's like, make a response to this video or whatever. And I was like a depressed, I don't know, 15 year old kid or something. Mm -hmm. And I remember I made a video response and I was like, you know, w the reason why I gravitated towards his channel at the time is because like a lot of my favorite artists, he was kind of, despite being like obviously kind of crazy uh maybe i didn't recognize that as much when i was younger um he seemed like like kind of an honest guy and he seemed like he was kind of radically uh unafraid to like show himself and his emotions and that really connected with me and okay. so i remember i like i made like a fucking vlog and like the lights were like completely out it was like two in the morning i think i had like my hoodie over myself i was like mostly afraid to like show my face or whatever and the video that I made no longer exists. Um, it's like ancient, uh, like so far back. And like, I don't even remember like what channel. Um, but I would like, I remember talking about like some issues that I was going with, with like my parents and home life. And it was like kind of like an unsafe environment at the time. Long story. Don't need to get into that. But um, then he responded to a video to that video of me and I don't remember the content of this, but I just found it so interesting that there's like this tiny connection between myself and the uh, Ian Crossland. And so Aww. we can watch like the first like 15 seconds of this and then like skim through it or something. But all right. Um, sure. All right. Adam, <clears throat> Adam, um, I think the reason that you might have felt detached a little bit because <laughs> it was cutting, it was stopping and starting. The flow. It's just munching. Keep getting busted up. Kind of like when I was eating these. He's just eating dry <laughs> cereal. Out of the box. <laughs> yeah. Just now. So yeah. this away. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, stop I only, yeah, this is only in there to just show that there was, like, that kind of connection there. Yeah, yeah. And I, um, I had this, so, like, you know me well. Like, I'm willing to talk to people of varying political persuasions or like sure. go on people's shows. And, um, you know, if people are like nice to me or whatever, then I'll be nice back. And if I don't have any explicit reason to distrust or, you know, uh, dismiss somebody then I won't. Right. And so I had this like kind of weird fantasy, um, for like 
maybe a couple years of like, man, I should just go on the Tim Pool show. <laughs> like, even though Tim Pool doesn't like, there's no connection between me and Tim Pool. He doesn't know who I am, and I would yeah. never, you know, go out of my way to appear on that show and you know the so the idea was floating in my head of like okay well maybe if you know he ever knew who i was and then invited me then maybe i would do it and um the reason why i'm like showing this right now is because that idea is just completely decimated ever since uh tim pool's coverage on like what was it the fucking there was that shooting um where at a gay bar was it like pulse or something so, yes was, in I don't florida what the yeah. Um, yeah. There was a shooting at a gay bar where, because they hosted like a drag brunch the day before, or something, just like a bunch of people died. And his response was, "Well, how is this going to stop happening if people are continuing to do the drag queen story hour?" And right. I'm like, "These these are literally just other people that went to the bar that yeah. are completely. Even if you thought that that was like, a, oh, this is a consequence for like corrupting children." These are other patrons that had nothing to do with that, like the day after. And I was so fucking disgusted by that. It is that I'm gross. like, there's no way that this has ever ha-. like I literally would not not ethically be able to appear on a show, especially, especially after within a week, I think. I think it was the same month, but it might have been the same week. There was that uh, there was a trans guy that shot up a church and his response was like completely the opposite. He didn't say he didn't say like, oh, well, if the church is abusing people, well, then it's going to keep happening. No, of course. Right. Like, dude, fuck it. it he, he has no morals and he knows exactly what he's doing. And yeah. I've seen enough of his content now to know that it's entirely bad faith. And I'm like, oh. I think I would just fucking vomit in the same they room were, as him. So I just I can't. They were selling prepper buckets over there you know we have (laughs) we've actually had tim pool on drunken peasants like three years ago three or four years Mm -hmm. ago and Mm -hmm. we've had his brother on a couple times too oh yeah yeah his brother yeah yeah he's yeah i'm just like people people kind of like get more exaggerated and more extreme as time goes like as a symptom of audience capture yeah so uh, this was this wasn't the Pulse uh, shooting. This is the Club Q shooting. Oh, uh, Club Q. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, 2022. Pulse was way back. Yeah, it's it's 2022. Um, the so you have you have I have any of you guys met Tim in real life? I've not met Tim very in real briefly, life, no. but I didn't like we didn't say anything to each other. We I was nearby him at so, that VidCon <laughs> that we were at. Right, right. I, yeah. I met, the first time I met him was at that VidCon, and then he came through Portland three more times. Or came through Portland three times that I ended up uh, interacting with him and hanging out with him. Um, there's there is no soul inside that person's body. He is no. the most insufferable, unlikable, like no charisma, hollow motherfucker I've ever met. When I met him at VidCon. I, I was like, hey, how's it going? Like, how was your flight? How was everything going? Blah, blah, blah. He he opened his mouth. He said maybe four words that address what I said and then proceeded to try and tell me how extreme it is that he goes out there on the streets and is uh, constantly being death threatened by like Antifa and shit like that. And I'm like, I didn't ask, dude. I, I didn't ask at all. Uh, he has mm-hmm. no personality beyond exactly what he does. I, it's the beanie it, is his personality. <laughs> it, it, it's where he hides his powers. Um, like he's not. I I don't think that he's human. I Adam, don't be, Adam, what did you think of Tim's music? Did you see Tim's music video? I saw the first one he posted. It was like some um, emo punk kind of stuff that he was doing. Yeah, I think the I think the lyrics are the worst part, and also the fact that he called his band Timcast. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Which is like just so clearly trying to like get in the algorithm and capitalize off of his existing yeah. brand. Could you like, okay? Well, what the, what the fuck is the point of making music? Tim, Ca- we're the band Tim. Ca- Could you imagine if your band was called your movie sucks? Dot oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. YMS. <laughs> YMS band. Um, like this entirely different sort of thing. Anyway, I, do you guys remember, uh, there was that teacher. I, I think it, I think, it was in the Ontario, uh, like in the Toronto, Ontario area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a trans woman, and she had these like ridiculously huge 
like rubber boobs. Yeah, big titty teacher. <laughs> yes. So there's a there's a lawyer in Seattle, like a public defender that's that's okay. causing kind of the same uproar. And it, yep. oh, I, uh, I think I've seen a clip of that. She's yeah. like seventy years old. And ridiculous, but I don't think these are. I don't think these are like prosthetics. I think these, like I think the, I think she got a boob job or something. So yeah, check this out. <laughs> Slay Queen. I just thought uh, I didn't think you could come to court dressed like that, like regardless of I, any other factors. I have no idea what the rules are. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's kind of like it's kind of arbitrary. The uh, if I'm not mistaken, like basically the judge can be like, I that's that's not that's not appropriate. So you can't. Yeah. Let, yeah. You know? It's their courtroom. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I I public saw that. Defender. I just thought that was weird. Yeah, public defender, like a free lawyer, basically. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, seeing uh, seeing boundaries pushed in weird ways, but you know, sometimes I have to like whenever I see something that's like pushing a boundary and making me uncomfortable or something. If there's no way that I can like rationalize it in an actual like, oh, this is causing real harm sort of way that I don't really feel strongly about it. Everyone at in that courtroom seemed fine with it. It might be a little distracting, but uh, they're, they're... yeah, if I got that, if I got her as my public defender, I'd be stoked because they would not. Be... <laughs> <laughs> they would not be spending nearly as much attention on my crimes as they probably should have. <laughs> I think that's good. I think that's what if uh, it's a part of the strategy? What is it? Yeah. What if it's a part of the strat? Could be. Works for me. Yeah. 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 Um, let's check out. Oh, we we have a we actually have an intro for this one uh, because every now and then we we revisit Brett Keen, known as the Manatee. And the oh, situation. I, if you hadn't said that wrestling. name, I never would have thought of that name for a long time. <laughs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right, uh, here he is talking. A relic. Yes, he. He's still up to the same old nonsense too. He's still making the edgy like atheist uh christian kind of debate uh content that people were making mm -hmm. you know 12 13 years ago so that's what he's still doing but but he's gone like culture war now so he's very like transphobic and shit too and and homophobic it's crazy that that's just like the thing to do now yeah yeah, it's really furries are next. As soon as as soon as people get over trans people, furries are on the chopping block. Damn, <laughs> that's my that's my prediction. It's already started. Joe Rogan fucking repeating a bunch oh. of like unproven nonsense. Yeah, when like, he was my, like, I found my out about wife's yeah. cousin's teacher's daughter went to the school, and I heard that they had to put a litter box in the class so she could pee in front of everybody. That's what they're making you do, and that's how woke things are now. And he just said that, like, as if that was a real thing, right? <laughs> on his fucking podcast, like the, for <laughs> for like sanitation reasons, that could not be done. Like they you, they can't allow yeah, people he, to pee in class. Joe Rogan is maybe the most gullible person on the that has that a uh, platform on the internet. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's gullible. He's not even like malicious. He's just really dumb and believes everything. Yeah, he you hears. know, he was he's a pretty nice guy, like on a personal level, like like mm -hmm. uh, back. I'm sure because he knew he knew TJ and uh, at the time, mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, he was on there once. Yeah. He, yeah. And he gave he comped TJ a bunch of tickets to his Portland show. And we all went down there and it was like front row and mm -hmm. everything. And. He, he was a nice guy, cool guy, for sure. I think he's a piece of shit. Well, I mean, you know. Well, he's a nice guy. He's just, he, he's, <laughs> like, really dumb, and he's, like, maybe the best example of, like, just turning into someone based on audience capture and surrounding yourself with 
a certain type of when I'm person. Right. Is how can right. Ben and Jeff look so great in their 40s and yet Brett Keen looks like age hit him with the ugly train? Oh, yeah, True. yeah. We'll we'll get into that. But yeah, I uh, I don't know. Like I I, I like Adam I said, can, I can if someone's cool <laughs> with me and and we don't completely politically align, I'm I'm fine it, with them. So I'm not cool with Joe mm-hmm. Rogan. Not fucking cool with Joe Rogan at all. Well, you I'll don't tell know you Joe why. Rogan. I don't need to know Joe Rogan. He's okay. a piece of shit. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Like yeah. I don't. If, I don't give a shit about people's politics. I don't give a shit about this. I don't give a shit about that. I care about the fucking species. Okay. I care about the human fucking race. And Joe Rogan, because of the amount of attention he gets, the fucking social political weight he wields, like a like a fucking brain dead chimp, collectively makes our species dumber. He's a piece of shit. He makes humanity fucking dumber. He's a. It's one of those. And he eats horse like, paste too, right, Jeff? He likes horse yeah, he paste. Does. Well, here's here's the thing. Here, I I I think he's I think he's an example of someone with a large platform that ideally would be more responsible with it and not just get tricked by every random thing on the internet that's just literally fake. But he's too um, do that. No, it, it, the the problem is like, it's it, this is like a symptom of of the greater culture and also the fact that we have the internet. And also, yeah. uh, like, he's fa- he's famous because his podcast is like an internet it, thing that people tuned into, but he's just as dumb as like he's and, dumber than the average American, Jeff, which is really dumb. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, we've had this conversation before, and like I don't. If if you're going to Joe Rogan's show for medical advice, then you're dumb, and maybe you should just get sick and die. <laughs> I don't know. I, that, that's that's fair, but like those people don't just like hurt I themselves; they like hurt their kids and shit. Oh, so you don't care about kids now? Okay, okay, Ben. Right. Yep. Listen, if you guys listen, if a couple people on the in the fucking chat want to say I'm a virtue signaler, I will go double barrel on you, motherfuckers. I totally double will. Barrel, if you don't hate Joe Rogan, just like I hate Joe Rogan, you hate children and you hope they get sick. So fuck you. That's fine. <laughs> um, I'm just fucking. There's too many children. Uh, that's fine. It's um, the sound of freedom argument. Um. So, yeah, Brett Keen. This is him. He made a video about uh, drag queens giving him nightmares. So Can someone please explain to me. This is what he looks like. By the way, Brett Keen, 46 years old. Why is the microphone a PNG? Because, okay, because he's not actually on camera. He recorded a nope. video of oh. himself <laughs> talking and then he turned it is into a looping background. <laughs> it's like a looping gif. Okay. He like, oh. and then he puts the Why? microphone to hide the fact oh, that his maybe lips. He's like... Yeah. So maybe he's even uglier now, and he's afraid to show. He it, it his, might be his current self. Yeah, how it's. Yeah, he puts the microphone there to cover his mouth, so you can't see that it doesn't match up with that his a voice. That bat gets more press than me. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, he's like a listening. he's like a, a comic book villain. Yeah, listening to Brett Keen, <laughs> the Brett Keen show. Oh yeah. I hope you're all having a wonderful day out there. Let's take a gander at what we have here. You are going to sing and dance out. He doesn't know how to not have echo when he plays a video, too. That's great. Yeah. Voices ready. And we're gonna start with our hips. The hips on the drag queen go swish, 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 swish. It almost looks like Brett's dancing, but it's just the gif of him. So it, yeah. to me, it looks like he's into it. Swish, swish, swish. So whenever I'm just going to point this out, every time I see one of these like fucking rage bait tweets like this, all I want is a fucking source, right? Well, let's this, the, the paragraph at the top. To be broadcast to children ages four through eight years old. On what platform where? Just answer me some simple yeah. questions so I can actually... Because then, you know, maybe there's an issue there. But, like, nine times out of ten, it's just a lie. <laughs> right. You know, like, nine times out of ten, it's just like, oh, you're just absolutely misrepresenting what this is. <laughs> yes. And, and, but I will say, this content, there's nothing risque about it. You know, it's a drag queen, but that's about it. They're not naked or even close to naked or talking about 
sex or anything like that, right? Um, it's it's weird for sure, and we'll see how it plays out. Okay. But like, it's it's one of those. Oh, okay. Is it over? Yeah, right, I get... just keep. Well, or that's this as goes much on as he was for about it, three minutes, yeah. and this is what was distributed to children, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I don't really understand how this is supposed to teach children or educate them in any kind of way, except for how to not wear makeup that makes you look like a goldfish from hell. And what's with the big ass boomy hairs, hair metal band look that's going on with this? Couldn't have they use like a, a biological woman? And if they had to use a homosexual, because liberals seem all about that, why can't, <laughs> why can't you use like a God normal gay person or a normal looking lesbian? Why do you go out and get these fucking street rats to put in front of the children? Does it always have to be the most ugliest, most deviant? disgusting person that you can possibly fucking find why don't you just go find some homeless bums and shit they look better than this it's fucking horrible i don't know can someone tell me what the fucking point of that is why why does this need to be in front of children for uh it's gonna give me fucking he sounds name. bedridden he sounds like he's he recording is. all of this from a laptop like in bed he lays on his belly and uh in bed and uses his computer that's like at the foot of his bed i think he doesn't have much time left I, <laughs> no he has no teeth left he looks like he's 70 but he's in his mid 40s it's crazy i don't know what's wow. going on there's underlying health issue maybe Is there supposed to be audio? I know. That oh, was, okay. yeah. was that the whole video? That was it. That was a clip. Yeah, uh, I have okay. a little more. I have a little more from him, but that sure, that was a sure. quick one. Um, <laughs> let's see. This one's too long. We're we're well, not gonna watch. Oh, oh yeah. So in this one, he uses like a fifteen-year-old video of himself. Just as long as your dreams have nothing to do with hurting other people or causing more negative issues in the world than what we already have, of course. You know, when filling out a last will and testament or one thinking about their bucket list, it's a lot it more It would just be better if there wasn't the, like, pretend talking microphone thing. Yeah. It's yeah. a weird decision that makes the video worse. Yep. I just, just, just be honest about it. Or like, why even show yourself? He he doesn't have to. He could just talk. Yeah, lots of people do that. Because sunglasses well, look fucking cool. You woke oh. libtard. <laughs> <laughs> you know what looks even better is dyed hair with the gray roots grown out about an inch. That's what mm -hmm. Brett was yeah. an early gray. He went gray really early. Complicated than mm. what one would think for sure. Thinking about all the stuff that you want to give out to people and, you know, who would actually cherish it, who could actually use it. And you start also realizing what material things that you have that are even worth value, if nothing at all. Because a lot of things that we have in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, they might be valuable and precious to us, but to other people, it's just fucking garbage. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so am i right you have, to, you have to really really consider that and you have to know people well on what it is that they would want or what they would like or what they would share something that wouldn't end up in a shed or up in somebody's attic or worse out in the damn dumpster you know we become very uh, you know attracted and interested in what we've had in our life and it's important to us okay i i don't even know where he's going with this and i'm kind who of tired of him for? who is this I, for i don't know i don't know sometimes there's meat this on is the for bone children through ages of four <laughs> through eight ah so he's a groomer yes yes um okay you know i'm just like even so there's there's the whole like drag queen children thing 
Yeah. Obviously, there's like a select few clips that get shared ad, ad nauseum. After uh, there's like no three clips mutants. of like, no okay, this is probably like inappropriate. No more mutants. Um, Humanity would be a super villain name. Yep. <laughs> There's like there's like three existing clips that just get shared repeatedly that are like, okay, yeah, maybe this is a little inappropriate, probably shouldn't do it. Right. None of those things are as damaging to a child's psyche as what is constantly done in churches. <laughs> like oh, yeah. even even not including the p- rampant pedophilia in churches. But yeah. the the religious indoctrination and like telling like the idea, the invention of hell and like essentially just brainwashing children into a fucking cult. Yeah, yes. like not nothing in any of those videos, even the worst ones, are like as harmful. You're it's right. Fucking, so it's it's one of those things, like, and it's what, it's, it's it just seems like an opportunity to just be like, this is what gay every gay person in society is doing to your kids, and just trying to create a new villain, and it's really frustrating. <laughs> there's been there's been like uh, materials and like uh, uh, training discussions that have been leaked from Turning Point USA, where they very distinctly talk about how to communicate with younger people, kids, uh, and how to get them into a conservative Christian ideology to fucking groom them as young. Yeah, exactly. Literally. Yeah, to literally groom them into ideologies and shit. And their their goal is not just to be like, hey, come to one fucking meeting. It's like to get them involved, to to draw them in. A dry queen yeah. story, or you go there, you they read you a story and you fucking leave. And like, yeah, and also like whatever whatever children exist in one of those things, their parents brought them. Right. Yeah. So like yeah. if you believe in parental rights at all, if some if some parents like, oh, I want to expose my children to like, oh, the idea of a drag queen or whatever, that's their fucking kid. If you're allowed to fucking expose them to d- stupid religions, okay. like not just stupid, but like harmful, like we have freedom of religion in the country. If you're allowed to fucking do that, when then sure, like what, you, you would have to also admit that you're allowed to just be like, oh, there's gay people that exist. When or I was in uh, uh, fucking men that dress like women and the, they're doing a fucking dance and it's like, you know. Some people exist where the a display of like dancing or like, you know, even something that we would consider to be sexual isn't necessarily like a sexual act on a children a true. child or something. Where yeah. it's just like you Yeah, know, like some some people are just not as uh what's the word? As like triggered by the the entire concept of like sexuality yeah right you know? yeah when when i was in high school i would i went to the rocky horror picture show live performance in my town all the time yeah. like multiple times a year so you could say i went to multiple drag shows as a kid <laughs> you know like yeah. and now you're a drag queen exactly i was i was yeah. at one time now um you're a List liberal woke tard. Yeah. What uh Jeff, this emo Howling Wolf video, does he really freak out? Does he do like the the like the classic emo freak out? It's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. Hmm. It's pretty great. What okay. is this video? Okay. It's pretty great. So there's a guy, his name's Justin Emo Howling Wolf. He's a diaper furry. Uh mm-hmm. oh no. He's like a baby and- f- diaper fur. So, um, so this, all right, this all, all right. This is all We're because this one guy accused him of using a script in his videos. I don't know. It's just to trigger emo, and also that emo's ass is dirty. Who's emo? Emo Howling Wolf. Emo Justin Emo okay. Howling Wolf. Yeah. Over. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bring it on. I'm ready. He sounds kind of like Joe Pesci, a little bit. Alright, so it's obvious that Salty Rant is a pussy, 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 pussy. Why is Salty Rant a pussy? Because he can't even fucking make a video and leave it on YouTube. Yeah, I was going to replay his fucking live stream today and critique it, but he put it up for like 10 seconds and then put it on private again. Why did he put it on private? Because he's a fucking faggot. He's a fucking low-life fucking pussy. That's what you are. You know, he's gay, but he uses that word. That's his number. That's his number one insult. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah That's what you are, asshole. You're a low life fucking pussy. I do not script 
anything, Salty, because I cannot read and write. Asshole. <laughs> so how the fuck do I script <laughs> shit? Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot read and write. At the same time. You fucking low-life <laughs> fucking faggot! You low-life fucking piece of shit! At least I'm not a Sorry, someone accused him of... Of what? They, they accused him of scripting his videos, but all of his videos... <laughs> okay, like, and is this, a resp is this a response to another video or, like, a comment? To I, I think, like, this person, like, made an accusation on, like, a live stream, uh, and... Okay. I guess and, just didn't look it up. And, and he's so like, he's... jokes on you. I don't even know how to read or write. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy, I make my fucking videos and leave them up unlike you, you fucking pussy. He's got the voice of a cartoon character. Yeah. yeah. This goes He's like a Mel Blanc character. <laughs> yeah, yes. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I boosted his grunt too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he has like a weird vocal tick sometimes. Where he's like, uh, uh, like that. So now I guess. So is this the it. like the the whole frame of this is the aesthetic of his video? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we got one wolf per corner. Yes. Yep. And he has had the same. He's had, he's had several meltdowns, just ridiculous meltdowns. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. From now on, every time I go live, every time I make a fucking live stream, I guess I'm going to have to use two cameras and show people that there's no fucking scripts on my goddamn screen. I love it when he showed the giant pallet of diapers outside of his house that was just oh, delivered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't see any scripts on any of these fucking screens. Do you, Salty? Pussy? I don't see anything. <laughs> it won't focus. I don't see a script on that screen, asshole. I don't see a script on this screen. I don't know. It's blurry. There could screen, be a script. You fucking asshole. So where's their script, Pussy? Oh, I like I, mean, I like the the setup. I like <laughs> I like the different cameras happening at once. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a multi-cam setup. As far as my setup. dirty fucking ass is concerned, you want to talk about my dirty fucking ass? All right. Oh, oh yeah. God. You want to talk oh, about yeah. a dirty fucking ass, salty? Yeah. Does this ass look like it's got <laughs> shit on it to you? <laughs> huh? Did he upload this to YouTube? Yeah, he streamed yeah. this. Damn I had to put. This is it still? Up. Is it still up? Yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> is. And it, it's it's not Jose. He he has like whipped out his dick before to because he got mad at okay. somebody. Does yeah. It's got shit on it to you, huh? <laughs> Do you see shit, Salty? Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Do you see it, you man chunk fuck? And tell me where the fucking script is. Tell me where the fucking script is, asshole. Tell me where the fucking script is. You low life it's in the other tab. Cop sucking, yo. <laughs> I'm coming to California right now and kill. Van showed piece of shit. That's what Salty Rant is. Van showed fucking piece of shit. Huh? Ben showed piece of shit. Again. Where's shit on my ass? Ah! Where's my ass? Where's shit on my ass? Where's my ass, please? Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> and what about the diaper? I just took a shower, asshole. My hands are still wet. Let's rip the diaper off. Does this ah! have shit in this diaper? Does it <laughs> shit? I wear it for style. Yeah. Fucking diaper it's an aesthetic talking. choice. It is not for, for it is not for shitting in. My diapers are not for shitting. No. <laughs> is this shit? His husband kind of looks like Jerry Garcia a little bit. 
He's like a we root. Oh, is he yeah. in this? Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. Mike. <laughs> Just for a fucking minute to get to see Mike, and it's, oh it's my so... God. It, it's shocking. Mike left me, huh? There he is. Then why the fuck is he right? Look at... <laughs> yeah, <fuck laughs> <the fuck? laughs> why is he right there? You fucking faggot! <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, right, look... That this is a character. Yes. No. See all the boxes of diapers? Huh. They're all clean, though. Yeah. <laughs> None of them have shit in them. No. <laughs> That's on the, the other side is where the poopy ones go. Hmm. Uh, we never see those. No. Where's the script? Where's the script, Salty? Where's the fucking script? I don't see no fucking this is script. A, this is a weird like bone to pick this is a weird thing to feel like you have to address yes yes there's yeah. like an insecurity there i'm th i'm starting to think he scripts his video <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah because oh he's bringing God. it up an awful lot um mm -hmm. yeah. yeah one time he had this huge meltdown because someone did a live stream pretending like they were his husband getting interviewed and he was saying yep. stuff like, oh, Emo just sits around in his dirty diapers all day. And he's like, no, I don't. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> oh, Emo. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, he does. Uh, he, he just he kind of loops after this. He, like, I don't know. It's it's still it's still fun Emo stuff, but he loops. He definitely loops. Of course. That's all he does. Where the, is it, yeah. you dumb fucking faggot fuck? <laughs> What are they doing now? Fucking loser. Fucking loser. loser. Fucking piece of shit. Scumbag. Suck it! Mm. 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 Is this, it, like, at what point, how, I, I've never been introduced to this character until today, and I'm just like, is, is this a consistent sort of thing? Yes. Like, what, yeah. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's just uh, okay. He what's what's fascinating about uh about Justin Nemo Hollywood is I don't really know what he does. I mean like I've watched oh. some of his streams where he doesn't freak out. Yeah. And he oh doesn't he chills. Really provide much. He just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's very strange. Did you know like, he's a like carny? Did you know he like works at the carnival yeah. during the summer? Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Is he is he diaper man at the carnival? <laughs> Step right up, everybody. <laughs> it's the diaper man. I still don't see no fucking script. <laughs> the human scripts. diaper. I still don't fucking see no fucking scripts, you moron. Still don't see no fucking scripts. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this dude's good. This is this is what Sturgis can look forward to in twenty years for sure. Oh my god! So Where's the strip, Salty? Where's the strip? You fucking pussy! Where's the fucking? All right, yeah, he is he is looping a lot. Yeah, he just he yeah. Just... It seems kind of repetitive. <laughs> yeah, he does. He screams about how now he's just gonna like uh, steal all of Salty's content. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Yeah, I don't know who uh, that is either. Reupload it and and report all of his stuff, and he's gonna try and salty dog. emo come wolf. Yeah, salty emo come. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Me yeah. and Scoot have watched a lot it's of my emo OC. Holly wolf together. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for sharing this uh, oh, wonderful. <laughs> Human being with You're me. welcome. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a sweetheart. I'm gonna, um, I gotta pee one more time. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. yeah, I was doing all kind I I was actually binge watching a lot of emo Howling Wolf the other day. Oh so, were ya? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like like uh this is one of my favorite ones. Hold on. Where's the script, bud? Scary fucking script, picture. Bud? It Sturge just happened to hit the power pack in the back of the fucking computer and knock me off air. But you know what? This is what's going to Gary's picture. 
And you know what? This is what I think of it. That's oh, what I, I think yeah. of Gary Fisher. How do you like that now? Do you like it, Gary? You made another ball face lie about me. You made another ball face lie about me. You cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know goddamn well that was a fucking lie. That was a fucking lie. You <laughs> cunt. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. It's so I good. I don't know why it just uh, is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, <laughs> the shit he said to Dragnaut in that one video. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Yeah. He's 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 kind of a bad man. Poor Mike, dude. Look at that Poor skirt. Mike. Look at his beautiful ensemble. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, he can't tear it. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, God. he has to use sc yeah, scissors to cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Does he hate winter? Uh, I don't he had a truce with one of his trolls online and he sent him that picture as like a gift and they had a truce and this oh, is Gary, when the truce was off. You did this. Not me. The war is back There's a lot of people that, that could have had the same notoriety as Chris Chan if they were just at the right place and at the right time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are we going to see are we going to see any of young emo Howling Wolf allegedly bud uh tonight? Young. Oh, I don't have any of his stuff in the uh, in the playlist, but gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. yeah. Bag it. The war is back on. You want to lie, lie, make a liar video saying that I stole money from an elderly woman? You want to make a lie, Gary? And then you call it a solid good fun. This is not fun to destroy the reputation of somebody. <laughs> God damn it. The camera kept moving. Yeah, because mm -hmm. he's pounding on his desk really hard. It's trying to escape. There's part of me, like, I, I don't have that much exposure to this character. There's part of me that feels like there's maybe an inkling of self-awareness that they feel like like the by being extreme, they would get like more attention or something. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's pretty genuine, but I, I I've mm -hmm. had a few direct interactions with him, and he just seems crazy. He was in my chat, like threatening to flag because he he saw that I was watching videos about him and laughing at him. So he he came to my chat and was like, "I'm gonna flag this video," and then. Uh, and then I I follow. He has like a like a Facebook account like a like a fan account and i dm'd him on it like hi emo and uh, and like for a year uh, about every like three to four months i'd be like hey emo and he just wouldn't reply and then the other day i was like emo why are you not replying he's like because you're a fucking troll that's why and then he blocked me <laughs> yeah very nice yeah uh, so. uh a love story yeah yep Indeed. yeah i just wanted him to respond I don't know. Um, Just wanted to slide into those DMs. I, I tried. I like slide between them cheeks. I got to look like Mike. Slide between if, them dipes. If I was sexy yeah. like Mike, <laughs> you know, maybe. I tell you what, though. Mm -hmm. If you go and you look at the the unedited, no mosaic uh, version of the video that I sent to Ben that we watched, uh, he can fucking twerk, and, and he's got cake. Like, oh, I was mm -hmm. actually very oh. surprised. I could see I could see through the the pixelation that yeah. there was in fact cake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um it's caked up. It's caked up like a motherfucker. <laughs> so, what's what's up with the Shanny video that you sent me, Jeff? What's going oh, on here? Oh, it's just it's just it's just good old-fashioned shanimal uh and she's got a lot of Shanny-isms that she uh okay. she uh, this is Who's another this? person you're probably not familiar with. Um, I, Jeff, you can sum her up <laughs> very easily. Uh, uh, give me the lore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm going to pee Shane, while you explain this, okay? So her her full name is... If you were uh, diped up, you wouldn't have to go. Shani for Sorry. Christ. And her <laughs> man is Revelation News. Uh, they are Christian YouTubers, or were... 
Uh, now they're just relegated to Instagram. They were friends with like Brett Keen and G Man and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. So uh, a long time ago, Rev's uncle or somebody died and left him a fuck ton of money, like three quarters of a million fucking dollars. They blew through it like a like just so oh, fast, damn. super super fast. That's X. Uh, they. Uh, ended up trying to dodge taxes by selling the house to G-Man for a dollar. So G-Man kicked him the fuck out. Like, signed the paperwork mm-hmm. and just kicked him the fuck out and then sold the house for, like, what it was actually worth. So they became homeless for a while, like, traveling around. Now, it's totally okay to enjoy the plight of these people because they're child abusers. Like, they beat their kids. They, like, total terrible pieces of shit. Just the... Mm-hmm. the human beings on the planet but they routinely find themselves in some of the funniest situations and uh they're they're amazing all right and, thank like, you yeah unfortunately like the i i was trying to find like a real banger of them but this one this one's this one's just uh shanny waxing waxing poetic oh my god how hard hard life the, is you the know? best shanny video is when they get stuck on the train tracks that's the best now, one that one's good. I also like when she Yo, gets Ben. Away. Yeah. Ben, you won't have to like leave and go to the bathroom if you were just diaped up. I I need to get a pallet of diapers wherever emo I'm gets gonna, them from. I'm going to go get diapers. You just up sit now, so I don't have to do it again. In the same spot the whole show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I do sometimes have to pee a lot. Today I didn't drink a bunch of coffee like I'm known to do. Uh-huh. So that I'm kind of surprised that that's my first pee break for the entire stream. Because usually I'm yeah, up. I'm having a few drinks, as is tradition when I'm on the drunken peasant. Yeah, you know, usually I would, but not not today um, for some reason. No so, pressure. Yeah, I, I don't even have anything I'm to drink, myself. unfortunately. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll wait till Jeff gets back to watch this shit. Uh, everyone out there, please like the stream, ASMR. and if you want to send in any uh, questions or, or anything, feel free. Just use the link pinned in the chat. Do you um, have a P.O. box if, in case people want to send you dipes? Uh, there, there is a mailing address <laughs> in the description. You know, send I them used, your dipes. I used to work at a, at a diaper factory. Clean dipes only. You used to work at a diaper factory? Yes. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> where they made like diapers for obese people, like morbidly obese people. Um, mm, gigan- emo wolves. Gigantic diapers. They were they were so huge, and we had we had a uh, one one type of diaper where they would squirt lotion into the padding of it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Essential I- non chafing diaper. Yes, yeah. I ran I ran a machine that just made thousands of diapers a day well i'm diaper. Mm-hmm. yeah all right here's thank you for your service you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> here's uh emo wolf salutes you i know <laughs> sorry is that the intro i want to thank you guys yes or, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Is that the intro to every video, or is that just, like, audio from whatever? Was she crying, or was that, like, a <laughs> attempted singing? So this is... This is, <laughs> this is a backup channel, because they only post to Instagram now. Uh, and that is a... That is a classic uh, Shani pretending to cry as she's begging for money. Uh, oh, the- okay, one of those. All right. One love. One love. Thank you. Thank One you. One love. Uh, but yeah. I know they ain't gonna stop. And haters are gonna hate because that's all they have to make themselves feel good in life, I guess. Uh, me, on the other hand, I'm just gonna be me. I don't I don't care about the shaming, the hating. The shame. Hating <laughs> the trying to explain my life, even though they don't know who I am. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm at a point in my life 
Malone. Where I'm just I'm I'm just gonna choose me. I, wh- that's been her whole life. That's been her whole fucking life. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a so, very long point. So her <laughs> and her boyfriend pissed away three quarters of a million dollars in like yeah. a year. I did he already tell you that part? It's it, yeah. it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> And then they they had this really nice townhouse. That's I just that it, that pisses me off on its own, honestly. Oh yeah. So she's begging for money in this video. Yeah. Uh, they they inadvertently kind of do. They they always end up being like, right. we need your prayers, uh, and we need some money. But I I don't know if she's like too overt in this one. She's just coming on to to tell us how she's doing. They completely trashed. money is money is physical prayers. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Well, That's I mean, needs it. yeah, tithing. I'm going to choose my husband. They're not married. I'm going to choose my sons and my cats. That's that's where I am. You know? Uh, they don't have kids anymore. The kids like, got taken away. Yeah. You want to come? Yeah, to- and their, their, their townhouse that they lived in uh, was completely trash. Someone went and snuck into it after they abandoned everything there. There was just, like, gross stuff everywhere. It, it oh, was yeah. disgusting. To me, and- like uh, overflowing litter boxes and shit like oh. that, and say shit things to me that that like the only thing that's going to happen is you know you get blocked and then maybe I pop off a little. Oh, uh, how? But like, <laughs> I got better things to do with my life. And there's much do more interesting to, to do on the internet than. Oh yeah, they had an OnlyFans too for a little while. What? Uh, I, hell yeah. Yeah. I guess. Was there di- were there dipes? Uh, well, okay, no, but uh, Rev does have to wipe for her. Yes, he mm-hmm. does. They got into an and- argument ab- about certain things, and he's like, "I wipe your ass for you." It's it, it, yeah, yeah. Yet they don't. It's know. not. It's not a disability thing. It's a. It's a dominance thing. <laughs> Jason, yeah. Wipe like my ass, ass, motherfucker. You guys do. She has a deeper voice than he does. It's kind of interesting uh, when they get into an argument. You hate her. She's way <laughs> bigger than him. Guest of your show, Elise and Jordana, has been arrested for battery in Florida. She started punching and slapping oh, one of wow. her while streaming in her car, and the cops got called. Wow, that's uh, insane. Uh, that's huge. You know, allegedly, what? allegedly. <laughs> you know, if, what we should do is if we're introducing Adam to them, we gotta play the cat piss video. Not cat pee. Okay. Yeah, because you have that. Do you have I a d- copy of it, Ben? Still, you've sent it to me, but I don't remember what the title of it was. Um. It should just be cat piss. Is that what it is? <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let me see. It's, it's called cat piss. Cat piss. It's funny. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sh- cat piss dot avi or cat p dot avi. Pretty huh. sure. Pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I'm not sure. I could I could find another copy of it. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. So the backstory to this was she threw her bra on his head. She was off camera and he was live streaming and she threw her bra onto his head and he was like, Ooh, it smells like cat pee. And then she got really pissed off at him and the stream ended. And then he comes back with this video because you could tell she like threatened to beat his ass or something. There's there's police body mm-hmm. cam videos of her getting arrested. Oh, no. She got arrested for for beating him up. He's God a, damn it! It's gonna take, it's gonna take me a minute to find. You it. said it to me before, sure, sure. But if if I, I don't know, it's somewhere. Cat I'll find P-A-V-I. it. P A V I. Yeah, 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 pretty sure. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. God damn it! Fuck. I need a better filing system for all of my sh- fucked up shitty videos that I save forever. God damn it. Have Archive. You... Be a data hoarder. Oh, I got it already. You got yeah, it? Yeah, got wow, it. you're so yeah. fast, yeah. Jeff. I know. Uh, should I just send it as a raw file to you? Sure. Okay. Not right. cat pee. It, it's musky. Musky. 
Uh, right. I gotta do the the, the best videos when they were <laughs> when they were moving from Colorado to Pennsylvania. They had to drive across the country and they mm-hmm. live stream the whole thing, and they got stuck on the train tracks. Uh, like, like they, at, on at, a train or like have uh, in their at. car. <laughs> they ended oh, up. No. They ended up on one of those roads that only the railroad uses to like fix tracks and that sort of thing. They got lost on one of those and couldn't find the way out, and they tried to drive over the tracks. It's yeah. it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like it's pretty fucking great. Jeff, you added me to a group and okay, then okay, left okay, the group. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I I, I realized that I already have a uh, I already have it on my Google Drive, so I can just send it to you like this. You actually already have a copy of it. Got to load it up. Do, 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 do. Here, uh, boom. There, there's a link. You can pull it. Bazinga. Bazinga. I'm very serious about my Shanimal and Rev lore. It's, mm-hmm. it's like, it's, it's serious shit for me. Because it's, it's one of those so things. So she calls where, herself Shanimal? Well, it's Shanny. Shanny. We Patrice. call her Shanimal. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Um, or the Shanity. All right. Shanity. Cat piss, Jay, really? (laughs) So I made a mistake. There was a live stream that Shannon did where she threw her bra on my head, okay? And I was wearing it like a bonnet. And I said it smelled like cat piss. No. I explained it in the video, but here, I wish you would take your comments off. I really do. But anyway, I... I, I, Jason, get up and make the fucking video saying that my tits don't smell like cat pee. I have a problem with saying stuff. The internet is fascinating. It is. Before I think about it. If I thought about, I I just said that Shannon smelled like cat piss because she put the bra on my head, I would have said to myself, wow, you're a real fucking moron. At the time, which I pretty much did. But because there are people who stalk her and upset her with comments on her page, I have to come here and make this clarification video. I said in the video, no, it's not cat piss that it smells like, because cat piss smells (laughs) like ammonia. That's what cat piss smells like. What I meant it smelled like was musky. It was a musky scent. Is that better? Musky Musky boobies. That's funny. That's funny. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, it was pheromones from her boobs that was in (laughs) the bra, and I smelt them. I did. She's a musky husky. It's a wonderful (laughs) smell. Cat piss smells like fucking ammonia, which I I do know that, but my mind just said, oh, yeah, say cat piss because I'm an idiot. No, it's not cat piss. It smelled musky, attractive. You don't smell ammonia and go, ooh, you're horny. (laughs) I smelt that and I got horny. (laughs) So what he so what he meant to say when he got the bra thrown on him was, oh, it smells so sexual and I'm so horny now. Yeah, that's what he meant to say. (laughs) That's what he meant. All right. So yeah, I was a fucking idiot. There's my wife. I, you know, I won't. She's got her privacy. I'm not revealing her to you. I like I like when video responses to clarify something wind up being way funnier than <laughs> yes. the initial controversy. Yes. I mean, Say Jay- you get the feeling that she was like like physically fucking threatening him. Like, you, you have to go on. Yeah. People will, will get the wrong impression. They'll think I smell like cat piss. Yep. I mean, it, it's probably It's very true. important that you say it smelled attractive. Yeah. You're an idiot. And nobody would Nobody would remember any of this except that they made this clarification. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah, do it. Because it's true. That was stupid of me. Jason, you're an idiot. Thank you. I'm an idiot, folks. It was a musky scent. Not cat piss. Goo. So. That's it's, fascinating. He, uh. He got caught flirting with a with like a catfish bot on Facebook. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got to share this one now too. Fuck! Oh god. They're catching up on the lore. Yeah. Oh man, this is this one's so fucking bad. This is so bad. What is it? Uh, the one about the Swedish girl? 
Well, I, I'm thinking about what she made him do. Yes. they made. She made I, him put the scarlet letter on his forehead. Well, okay. So, yeah, he got caught uh, flirting with chat bots. None <laughs> of these were reasonable. Uh, she forced him to shave his head bald and then draw a red A on his forehead and then stream with her. And, like, he looks like a hostage victim in the fucking video. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. And she Are just... they still together? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Great. he's he's lost <laughs> probably, like, 60 pounds. Not intentionally. Yeah. It's because they don't have a lot of food go, to go around, and she gets m- way more of it than he does. They they <laughs> they don't know when to to turn off the stream, so you get all these fights where they're arguing about stuff. That's how we know he wipes her ass, and we know like they fight about who gets the food. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> they literally fight over food. Like he'll get all upset and shit, and he'll be like, well, "I haven't eaten two days. You've eaten everything in the fridge." Shut yeah. up, Jason. Yeah. Shut up. It's crazy. Yep. Nuts, dude. Yeah, someone what a even fun relationship. Yeah, yeah, someone animated uh, this. Uh, I love your fucking uh, man. That's your wife. That's your girlfriend. A few things really that hard. I haven't even partaked in, <laughs> and I, then there's nothing left. Oh, what? I didn't. I well, maybe I'm saving thing. it for some a time I need it instead of eat eating everything thing. all up at once. I don't eat the whole thing. I have two. I'm just saying you're in one of your binge modes. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I've barely I, had any I, food. I'm just going to be quiet. I'm I not going to say anything else because you're not even food. thinking right. I have barely had any food today. Are you serious? <laughs> Seriously, I've barely had any food. Okay. I wanted to fill myself up with something because I felt like I was going to pass out. Well, good. I'd like to fill some, some food up, too, and have some things, too. <laughs> I'd like to fill some food up, too. That's, uh, that, that response is very telling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm also hungry. Fuck me. <laughs> he Fuck. ate up all the freaking peanut butter. That, <laughs> that is, like, are you serious, man? Well, it's like people get that for me. I it's like the only thing I eat, dude. That's not true. <laughs> Fuck. On a regular fucking basis. That's not that's true. That's what I go to. That's you how I survive, just, man. It, the same things I eat all the time. Very little amounts. Very small <laughs> amounts. One or two cookies. Just drastically different metabolisms. Yeah. We're talking about cookies. Well then, what are you talking about? The I'll pasta. I'm. I have a. I'm just gonna drop it because you're just gonna be in denial the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna drop it. Okay. Whatever, dude. If I if I have binge on your fucking treats uh, too much, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize. And I apologize. You did. There's no. There's just a few cookies left, and I'm just like I barely had any. Are you serious? I seen you with the milk dunking cookies night after it night. It was two cookies. No, night after night, Channy. It wasn't night after night. The M M&M cookies. Oh, <laughs> two cookies, really? No, two cookies night after night. You've been snacking on them for like weeks. I haven't been snacking on them for weeks. Yes, you have. Okay, Jason. You have. Okay, you can say whatever you want. I love the fact that everyone believes that I'm a pig and I starve you. I had three (laughs) fucking M&M cookies. Uh Uh-huh. Three. Uh Uh-huh. Like, we both know what's the truth here because we live together. I had three M&M cookies. Three. Uh Uh-huh. That's they true. should come up with like a system to verify this. Yeah. <laughs> it's they called. Should, they should have. They should have separate areas of the fridge. The they si- should. They should divide the cookie box into two separate boxes, fifty-fifty, mm. with their this names is- on it. Yeah. Or you could just look at them and tell who eats more cookies. <laughs> like, wow. I don't know. Um, this is what? crazy. 
Yeah. This it is them on. In a circle. Should I go this way? Behind. Okay, let me let me do this. Shani's got her uh, her Let's fig newtons and her cookies, and the right. Bible. I was gonna this say it's like a pile a pile of garbage, <laughs> like on top. Of her. Yeah. That way. And a WWE Championship belt. Yeah, but it'll send me in a circle again. I say go back that way. We should There's nothing the there. <sighs> what? I think I should go this way. And most people would be like, shit, we're lost. We should probably turn the stream off and, I should and see figure out where way. we're going. Not them. You get what Hell I'm no. saying? Because that is just... Hold here. on. Up here. Tell me that I'm... And, 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 and get on the ramp. Is the music from the car or somebody else edited it in? I think someone else uh, put the edit in. Yeah, because this is obviously yeah. fucking insane. Okay, like, okay. All right, I'm going to go over here. Oh, my God, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, there is a huge fucking, like, what? What? Just don't back up that much. Keep going forward a little bit more. Trust me. Okay, fine. <laughs> No, now go back a little bit, just a little bit. I gotta turn the wheel, Shannon. Yeah, I know. I don't oh, want to no. go down the hill. I thought I was Where's the part where they? This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Please. Oh yeah. Please, Jesus. There'll be a road down here. Oh, so they God, got so there somehow. You like? Why don't not just turn around? <laughs> They're insanely stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's like, that's all I can yeah, really I say. It might be. Like they were on a road at one Just point. Be careful. Now they're go back to the road. Now they're right next to the tracks. Why are they doing this? <laughs> Can you move over a little bit more? Thank you. I Oh my god. Try to oh, oh. over them. Oh god. No. <laughs> This seems this seems like a fucking live leak video. Like I'm expecting them to get just fucking decimated by a train right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Jason, call the cops. We're ready. Jason, what? call the cops. <laughs> Are you streaming with a cell phone? Maybe you could do that. It's on the run. <laughs> Oh my god, she's fucking badass. Oh my god. We're still stuck, Phil, dude. Okay, no, I maybe not. We can get over here. Baby girls. Gavin, that's the poor boy. She got out and pushed the car off of the tracks. We got a flat tire. We have a flat tire. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, it's on zero. Yeah, we need to get, yeah. Call the cops. Oh, my God. This is very Move chaotic. Over there. Yeah. Okay. I go over there. Oh. <laughs> car. Wow. Yeah. What the fuck? Incredible. Incredible. That that's uh these are like characters in a horror movie that I would be complaining about. Because I'm like, no one's that stupid. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, no one's that dumb. Incredible, just incredible. <laughs> I my I just wish uh, they. I want them to make more content to get back into the content game because right now they mm -hmm. so when they they lost their house, uh, they were kind of homeless for a while. They moved into like this shitty little hotel motel, like really shitty motel, but mm -hmm. then it was in such a bad neighborhood. The uh, a bunch of thieves stole all the copper from underneath all of the units. So all of the units started flooding and getting like covered in. Why is he leaving? I thought he was diaped up. Anyway, 
uh, they all started <laughs> <laughs> flooding and getting mold and shit. And so they all had to get to to be forcibly removed because it was like a public health hazard. And so now they live in one of their uncle's houses, I guess. Uh, and they just don't really make like the content content. They just have that one little shitty phone and they, they go to Instagram. So I miss the... So do uh, they still have a YouTube channel or... No, no, their YouTube channels, uh, they've, uh, they're all, they're all gone. They're, all that's left now is just the, the clip channels, the archive channels. Mm. But like, you can is find. It, would it, did it get banned or did they delete it? I want to say it got banned, but they might have had like a moment of self awareness and and deleted it. It's hard to say. Mm-hmm. That's but, very uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it just a, if you ever want to to go down a rabbit hole uh find find some shanny clip channels and look up her cooking videos her cooking videos are incredible they're just okay i com- love bad cooking videos so. yeah they're very incompetent and and just wild absolutely wild that's shanty yeah. for christ shanny uh s-h-a shanny shanty <laughs> and uh cooking Archive. Okay, I will watch this later for sure because I love bad cooking videos. Yeah. Um, Ted Pearlhead had a uh, super chat asking if anybody remembers Gorgeous George, and I don't know who that is. Uh, Gorgeous George is a wrestler. Okay. I believe, at least I believe. I'm pretty sure. Wasn't Gorgeous George? Gorgeous. Why is it that whenever I see severely mentally ill people, they're very big wrestling fans? Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're friends with Scoot. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it, it's it's one of those things, I suppose. There's uh, uh I I always liked wrestling when I was growing up as a kid because of the drama. I loved the drama. Um, mm-hmm. the actual wrestling part of it just uh got kind of boring after a while, but the drama was great. It's kind of the same. Did you reason- think it was real when you were a kid? No, no, never. Not, not even, not even once. I knew right away that it wasn't because my brother was twelve years older than me, and he was really big into wrestling, and mm-hmm. uh, so he would perform like these devastating wrestling moves on me, and uh, I would, I'd be fine. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is fake. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, not. Yeah, fake. I've been to a couple of wrestling shows, and there's Dance. always there's always some like really little kids that are like way more into it. They're like, ah! like yeah, like yeah. it's like someone's dying on the stage. It's right. a fun energy. I love it though. I mean, that's great. Yeah. I, you know, the part of the part of the the joy of it is just to like let go and get immersed into it. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's fine. It's cool. I got a lot of respect for wrestlers too. I think it's uh it's pretty fucking rad. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. There is definitely something about it. The last Rev video that we watched, uh, that was pretty recent, uh, he he was wearing like a kilt and a Raven shirt, uh, which is a wrestler, and he had to like stop everything that he was doing just to talk about how kickass his wrestling shirt was. Yeah. It was pre- pretty awesome. Uh, Ted Pearl had said that they were not talking about the wrestler, but there was like a show where people call him to piss him off apparently somebody else named gorgeous george ah gorgeous, gorgeous george so we have no idea what you're talking about i know who gorgeous george is the uh the, the not wrestler yeah the not wrestler um okay yeah he's kind of a low cow um i've heard okay. of him yeah uh is he like a U- yes okay okay um, pretty sure him and emo howling wolf had a beef or something i i can't remember uh oh so i guess we should check out i'll i'll play another one of uh adam's videos the maga hilariously confused about pride oh it's fun Ooh. cool what do you hell think yeah of pride month i was just talking about it today i'm really i'm happy right now because i haven't seen near as many rainbow flags and rubbish as we've seen last year they're making the kids wear these flags and these hats yes right and it's like yeah. don't put don't make the kids wear these flags and these hats and make, <laughs> make it their entire personality <laughs> yeah. absolutely 
I saw a MAGA guy the other day, and he was wearing a hat with an old slogan that they got rid of. It, it was, keep America great. Because if you want to keep America great, then that means you think it's currently great. With Biden as president. Mm-hmm. So they had to drop that one. They also did Make America oh, Great no. Again, again. They yep. tried that for oh, a little no. while. That's fun. They make it their whole identity. They've got the shirts, they've got the flags. I feel like it's being shoved down our throat. Oh, yeah. yeah, they got the hat. Oh, they this got the Joker. Shirts. That He's he's like a MAGA rapper, that guy. I've seen his videos. Oh, yeah. He's it's such like a it's, whole it's, funny, it's funny that people can... People have had entire careers off of just saying that they love Trump a lot. Yeah, who's that Canadian like rapper? Oh, yeah. The one that did the song with Ben Shapiro. What's that guy's name? Oh, uh, uh, and, uh, I can't yeah, remember his I know name. I know exactly who you're talking about. I forget his name. Yeah, yeah, but he's he has done that. Uh, Tom yeah, McDonald. Donald. Tom McDonald, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, like, members of Congress that have like made their mark by just saying they love Trump. Like fucking mm. Magic the Gathering, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah. Lauren Boebert. Yeah. Madison Car- Cawthorn. Oh, yeah. You got these people with these flags. They're waving it in our faces. Right. I don't care if you're gay. Like, just you don't, don't wave this flag <laughs> in my face. <laughs> these flags everywhere that they wave around <laughs> in everyone's face. It's become their entire personality. Yeah, absolutely. You have these people with their <laughs> flags and their hats that they wave around in everyone's faces and it's become their entire personality i live in a place where everybody is gay i hope you could say that but <laughs> what can you do you can't say gay it's florida <laughs> oh <laughs> no that's only a disney waving around their flags they got the hats uh-huh. and all that and it's like dude you know like why do you have to throw it in our face yeah, why do we have a heterosexual month Right. You know? Why don't we? <laughs> Hetero month. And yeah. You should have seen how, how it looked me trying to just get on a flight to get down here with a MAGA hat on. They treated me like I was Osama bin Laden. It's become harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, about your identity nowadays. Right? Yeah, I, people just need to speak up. They need to say what they believe. It's becoming kind of dangerous to identify as a Trump supporter. Yeah. And it's almost dangerous to be open with your identity. I was in January 6th. I saw the crap that went on there. They're embedded out here now. They want to demonize us. They want to silence us. You shouldn't be ashamed of your identity. I'm not. I'm not. I, you should I, see my truck. I enjoy content of people not knowing that they're being made fun of. Yes. Oh, yeah. It, it, that is pretty great. But when it's so explicit that, like, any person with two brain cells would clue into it <laughs> well they just happen to only have one brain cell yeah, i can't Apparently. see out my back window because i got so many bumper stickers just on a, de- a saturday or sunday i got nothing to do i put my flags out and i ride through town to remind everybody we need our constitution Woo! we yeah. need our didn't trump say he wanted to get rid of the constitution he sure did okay he sure he did say that yeah mm-hmm. freedom before november 3rd 2020 I didn't have signs and flags. I didn't have a tattoo on my arm. Oh, no. I never had a tattoo in my life. I felt the need to not be quiet anymore. And I don't care if my hat offends you, if my slay if queen offends you, if this offends you, don't look at me. I can't wear a MAGA hat in some places because, you know, some people don't like that identity. Can you imagine, like, going someplace and being attacked just for your identity? That's crazy. Well, I wear my MAGA hat. (laughs) That's crazy. I I invite people to challenge me. It's become hard to be open with your identity. This is my family. How how much do I wear my my uh, patriotic shirts when I'm out? Oh, Dad buys sleeves of the hats and gives them. I mean, yeah, I buy I buy hats by the dozen and hand them out. People say, "Oh, I like your hat." Don't move. I got one in my trunk for you. (laughs) Yeah, but these you know these pride flags are just. They're just everywhere. They gotta go. Yeah. Oh, Bring yeah. it back. My granddaughter can't enjoy a <laughs> they rainbow. Don't, they don't get it. God gave us. God gave us that rainbow. And my granddaughter can't yeah. enjoy that rainbow, and she loves it. Why? Because they've distorted it. They've made it something that rainbow. She loves it, never- but she can't enjoy it. <laughs> Why can't she enjoy it? She loves it. What are you talking about? You don't want back. her to enjoy it? Is no. that what you're saying? Like, yeah, you're saying? she she can enjoy it now, now that it's the gay symbol. My- she loves that rainbow and she can't enjoy it. Didn't they change their flag what? anyway? Wasn't wasn't the pride flag changed? Who's they? 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, the real question. Yeah, there, I, I've talked about this before. I think like I'm a fan of the rainbow pride flag. I think that anything beyond that point is just like that's implying that the rainbow flag wasn't already encompassing all the things that you're now putting on the flag. It's like what, like, think of all the black trans people at Stonewall. Yeah. They were fine with the the existing pride flag. It's not like black people weren't included on the pl- pride flag. It's not that trans people weren't included all on the pride flag already. The entire concept, the design of the original pr- pride flag is the spectrum of light. Yeah. That's why it's the rainbow. It's exactly. all visible light. Right. That it it was it was literally meant to be the most inclusive design. And yeah. now, now the redesigns are implying that the original was excluding groups of people when it wasn't. So that's why I have an issue. With I was, it, I was kind of surprised. I'm not, how, gonna, I'm not gonna like shit on people for flying it because I think most people are just stupid. But whatever. I was kind of surprised how quickly it it took the place of the rainbow one. It was pretty quick. Um, I don't. It's not. I don't think it's more common. Hmm. I don't think. I don't think it's more common at any kind of like gay event or rally or whatever. You see them for sure. I don't think it's replaced it. Okay. Oh, that rainbow was about a promise from God. We've got the shirt that says taking back the rainbow. What was the promise from God? Was it that he wouldn't destroy the world again? Then why do all of them believe that the world will, uh, like... In, in the rapture, yeah. Right. Rainbow, because <laughs> it was God's promise to the world was to never flood it again. Not oh, oh it, that's what they do. They take it super literally, and they're like, oh, they'll never flood. Which, by the way... Uh, the world There'll be gets an earthquake flo- instead. Yeah, but also, shit gets flooded all the time. It's just not like a global flood. You not know? the whole world. I mean, there's a good amount of the world that is flooded with water. <laughs> you not know. for to be distorted like this. All right. So. Yeah. Um, I enjoy that. Uh, I know. Oh, this is an old interview with Lo- Lauren Boebert. That's like way younger Lauren Boebert right there. And it's oh, really that's inter- crazy. It's really interesting what she says here. So this is when this is before she got into politics. She owned Shooter's Grill, right? Yes. Yeah. And she was yeah, like a waitress. Yeah. It was like Hooters, but all the waitresses had guns on their hips, basically. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that it was like Hooters, because honestly, now the name is clicking. Yep. Shooters. <laughs> like, Shooters. Oh, yep. Shooters instead of Hooters. Yeah. Okay, OK, I get it. Very clever. I know that on the on your wall there, you have copies of the Declaration of Independence. You have copies of the Bill yep. of Rights. Is the sign that reads to, to those sitting inside that they are proud? Could you imagine? Cl- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Imagine setting up the webcam for a news interview, and you're like, "Gotta have the gun in frame. Yep. Gotta have the crucifixes in frame." Like, holy yeah. shit, these people. Yeah. It's such okay. virtue signaling. Oh yeah. To my yeah, guns, yeah. guns and it's all, Bible. All, uh, all about signaling the the virtue for sure but i have a feeling that if we could take that webcam and turn it around there would be several other very advantageous places that they could have placed it for the same effect oh, of course <laughs> inside yeah, maybe. that they are proudly clinging to my guns and bible let me pause and play play our viewers something <laughs> This was like a Biden hot mic moment from mm-hmm. back in the day. Biden. I don't know if you could hear that, Lauren. Obama? That was then Senator Obama. Obama uh, back in 2008 campaigning. Comment caught off. Mic. Oh, Biden and Obama. Like talking about people in rural areas, you know, clinging to their guns and religion. And so I just have to ask, is the sign in your restaurant a direct jab at Obama? No. Listen to what she says here. No, I would never do anything to disrespect my president. Um, I believe that Whoa. it is a, an office that. Um, is in place by God, and you know I would never say anything to disrespect him. I didn't know that that comment was even made. I actually picked up the sign just at a local store. Hmm. Okay. No, actually, um, I, I stand corrected. A friend of mine. So if that God board. elects the president, then she must not have an issue with Joe Biden right That's now. That's the thing, because she totally disrespects him all the time. So it's just she weird. She might have changed her mind, or maybe God updated her. I think he the, like went into one of her dreams. He's like, "Yo, no, 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 it doesn't work that way." I think the cushy job of being—I <laughs> was lying uh, to you before. Yeah, like the cushy job of being in Congress is enough to change anyone's mind to do whatever they need to do to stay elected. 
Um, she's uh, she's got some competition, as in yeah. she might not be there very long. Yeah. She almost lost her last election. Yep. Me and I thought it was fitting. Yeah. So I just thought I saw that and I thought that was interesting because you get a snapshot of probably the more genuine person than what you get now. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. She's like a 36-year-old grandmother whose son got arrested for, like, robbery yeah. <laughs> recently. Oh, <laughs> like, did you see the... And uh, she's telling other people how to live their lives and is very concerned about woke trans stuff. It is pretty, it's pretty incredible how much she's, like, the cliche of white fucking trash in this country. And people are like, yeah. Yeah. And she, she literally got in office by just saying she loves Trump. And yeah. that's it. Oh, yeah. And 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 having a uh, a bar like she got her she got noticed just because she owned this bar where they carried guns, just appealing to the lowest common denominator. Like, yeah, she lacks guns, you know, like oh, it's really like being a conservative grifter is one of the fucking easiest yep. things to do if you just have no morals. If you yep. if you just don't give a shit about the fact that you're lying all the time and like all you have to do is just repeat the the things that other people are saying. That's that's all that, you have to do. That's literally like and it's quarter. it's so simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and it's 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 wild and it's extremely fucking profitable too. And that it was like I was saying before. You know, there's, yeah. there's shit tons of money. People will just hemorrhage money if you're just willing to say this stupid shit. Um, it, it's it's mm -hmm. fucking wild. I do my favorite Bobert uh, factoid though is her now ex-husband and father of her children uh, got in trouble for whipping out his penis in front of a bunch of kids at a bowling alley. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and then she, like, she she was fucking at a live performance of, like, a musical. I think it was Beetlejuice was, like, or something. Yeah, like, like fuck fucking that. jerking off her husband through his pants. It oh, was, no, that was a... It, that was a date. That was it like was a, a some no, new No, it wasn't even guy. her husband. That was a no. date. Yeah, she was vaping. Yeah. I, d I don't think she knew that they had like vaping night, indoors. <laughs> night vision cameras in this theater. She had like a booby yep. yeah. dress on and stuff too. And she tried to pull the like, yeah. do you know who I am when they tried to kick her out? Uh, but See, yeah. that's the difference. That's the difference between that and drag queen shows is that nobody consented to being around that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. She's, she's doing it with children around whose parents didn't consent to any of that. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is crazy shit. What a character. Yeah. All right. um, I can't wait until she's out. The, the, this election season's fucking insane. We're it's in ramping up. Times. I mean, technically, we're always in historic times, but like, this is a really interesting season. Yeah, <laughs> this is a, this is a really interesting season of my favorite reality TV show, The United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there will even be debates this year? Because it seems like they don't even want to do it. It seems like. <laughs> It seems like no. Yeah. <laughs> and it's weird, too, because like the we we set trends every year as these things go on. So like if we don't have debates this time, we might not have them the next time either. We might just fall out of doing these things because we're adopting like a new normal or some shit. I don't know. It's crazy, man. Yeah, because you used to want to get in the to the debates to get your platform out there and to argue it versus mm -hmm. the other person's platform and the the first televised debate was nixon versus kennedy and it did so well that they were like well we're just gonna have to do this all the time now but the problem here's my idea sorry yeah go ahead it's the year 2024 i think both presidential nominees should have a 1v1 debates against destiny <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I think that would help settle people's minds. Yeah, oh, if, if you compared like the speed that Joe Biden can talk versus the speed that Destiny can talk, it's not even a contest. It depends if it depends if he's on his state of the union meds. Cuz he was <laughs> doped up. He was doing pretty good then. He was cranked. I want some of that shit. Holy fuck. That dark mm -hmm. Brandon. Uh, yeah. Government yeah. mess. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's, it's funny that they're leaning into the dark Brandon thing too. 
I like I I do enjoy that a lot. I I get the whole like you know yay a great reality TV show of like you know the United States of America. I uh, from my perspective though like it is entertaining, but it's also terribly terribly boring because it's like the slowest moving car crash, and I I don't know if we're ever gonna get our nut COVID. Another I would good- not call it boring. Oh. I it, I would not call it boring. Every, if fucking I, Canadian politics are much more boring. Yes. <laughs> well, sure. Sure. I, but it's like it's like with uh, with COVID. I was like, yay, it's the end of the world. Hooray. And then it, it didn't happen. And uh, every time things just get worse, I'm like, cool. We're so much closer. We're almost there. We, everything's just going <laughs> to fall apart. And then it doesn't. And then it just gets worse. And like that doesn't feel good. Well. I feel like, I feel like I'm being just try. edged. I'm, ju- I'm just constantly being edged by uh, by society, and it's it's very disturbing. I like edging. I I like edging for a while. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna pee one more time. I'll All right. Huh. He said he died. Up. He lied. But so I. I want to see what's up with this Elisa Jordana shit. Holy shit. Did you find an article on it? They like, oh my God. Holy shit. It's, well, tell me. I'm, I'm about to play it. She got into, oh. like, she gets these, like, simps, you know, that she can rope into her live streams and kind of like milk them for content and they pay her and they think she's hot. So they'll do it for free mostly, you know? Um, mm. Mm. And so you, you know who Elisa is, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, the Trump Trumpster Bob's ex-wife. <laughs> she, I mean, like he was, he simped hardcore for her and he, she milked him for content. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, she used to work for Howard Stern. She was part of like Howard Stern's writing staff back yeah. in the day. Um, uh, she's uh, she's funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a lot of her stuff. I'm like, oh, was that staged? This does not look staged. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, touch me and I fucking deck your dumbass bitch. I'll fucking deck you. Oh, yes. Yes. What's wrong with him? I don't know why his face is red. Who's this? Okay, this is Elisa Jordana, the woman. Her name's her name's Elisa. We've had her on the show a couple times. Um, and, oh, this is what somebody commented. Yeah. Yeah, she used to work for Howard Stern back in the day, and, and she got a lot. She was on the sh- the Howard, like like when you work for Howard, he makes you a character on his show. So like ten years ago, she was on yes. Howard Stern a lot. And uh, so that's why people like that kind of gave her name recognition. Uh, this is, ben, ben, apparently this is not the full clip. This is actually after it already started. Oh, okay. Uh, Can I get it, the, do you have the full one? Uh, Ak- Akhenaten says it's in priority. In priority. All right. I, uh, priority. I never really listened to Howard Stern, but I like Joey Boots. Yeah. yeah. Joey, Joey Boots. Is a character. Yep. Yeah, Rest you know, um, let's see here. Rest in power. Hell yeah. <laughs> then, you know, different sentences that he... Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't Whoa! Come on! Oh! Yeah, that was... Yeah. Are we missing anything before that? Like, what the fuck was... <laughs> that seems like it was out of nowhere. She, I, was this that? is an IRL stream. She, she used to do a show kind of like what we're doing now. But she uh-huh. switched to all IRL. Then, you know, oh, it, oh, yeah, she was in the band Cobra Starship. That is true. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Then, wow. You know, she was the keytarist, and she got kicked out. Different sentences that he... Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Idiot. Uh, yes, yeah, sir, we're really sorry about this. I'm sending wow. you away today. Fucking... Uh, Imagine so- doing that. <laughs> that. That hurts to get like hit in the nose like that. Oh, Damn. Don't worry. Some people uh, are. Some people can j- just think they can just get away with violence. Um, but yeah. Like so... just ima- like if if this is happening with a camera. Yeah. Probably does it off cam. Yeah. What is she drunk? She can't even say that she's driving. 
She is, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Don't worry, he's coming home. Assaulting I'm someone sorry, while you're driving. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cunt. Um, you're about to hit him again. Next time you touch me, I'm gonna deck you. You understand, cunt? Hey, no, Sarah, hang up. These idiots. She Who's this person on the right? Okay, so Al Elisa will pick up pay pigs that kind of simp wow. for her you know what i mean and she'll she'll milk them for content that's her that's been her shtick for wow. years yeah so yeah, that's sad yeah so that's what's going on here I, i'm pretty sure anyway people can provide context in her cancer discord and i would just be polite yeah 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 so no so so, so ba baram baram how do you pronounce it you know i don't know shut the fuck up cunt. um hey, so, cunt. So what platform is she streaming on uh youtube i believe Pretty sure. Sent me okay. and right. what he wrote about you. He said you're a dumb Mexican that uh, he doesn't yeah, even yeah. like. Oh, just sure, just sure. how he said that I'm a streamer that he doesn't like. So you guys are like, wow. Right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Talk Sarah, to the Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, touch me and I fucking deck your dumb ass bitch. I'll fucking deck you. Oh, yes. Yes. So he's a pay um, pig already kind of fed up with her. Yep. No, nope. but he's like to be a pay pig, you would have to be like somewhat familiar with the person's content, right? Yeah, but I think they all kind of believe that it's going to be different. <laughs> like, I'll be the one she actually falls in love with. Yeah, you know, that sucks. There's like there's so many. That's the kind of the way I feel about like OnlyFans. It's like there's nothing inherently wrong with, you know, displaying your sexuality or even charging for it. But I feel really bad about, like, all the socially inept, like, autistic dudes that don't understand that they're being taken advantage of and think that by giving someone lots of money that they're actually making progress in a relationship sort of way. When, yeah. it, like, literally they just don't even see them as humans. They just see them as sources of income. Yeah. That's so it's sad. As a woman. Yeah, but, like, I always got along with Elisa fine but yeah like hitting someone that isn't posing any threat <laughs> to you that's not really excusable and and she got arrested no. so. Sarah, the no she's a she's a fucking insane person she's a she's a fucking i would stop talking about oh, yeah. winding yeah, up for another know. fucking punch Okay, yeah. What a terrible yeah, so person. I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Yeah, and he said kid. you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's and a dumb Mexican. And he said you keep showing so up. How many, how many like fucking live viewers does she get? What kind of a stream is this? It like, depends on what's going on. Uh, it could be yeah. a couple hundred or it could be higher depending on. Well, here's the thing. For a while there, her and Andy Dick were associated with each other. And Andy Dick mm -hmm. was like bringing in big time views because his he was just a fucking disaster, you know, like a car crash in slow yeah. motion. So she was she was getting a lot of views off of Andy Dick for a little while, uh, and then and then he got passed around like a hot potato by a lot of a lot of IRL mm -hmm. streamers, like passed Andy Dick around until he would like like uh grab their junk or whatever <laughs> and then they'd be like all right you gotta go you gotta go with this person now so and he says you won't stop texting him but i saw what? the text it's the same shit yeah 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 what's up she's half your age she's half your age what the fuck is everything i'm so every time i come on dp i'm like i'll stop i'll stop i'm more okay, disappointed in humanity. Over. <laughs> okay, pull over, don't call. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, call I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. This is this is terrible. No, what the fuck? Call right. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope they're both arrested. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this is yeah. not self defense. <laughs> Doing this on the road is a bad idea. No. Yeah. Trying to get out of the car, I guess. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Still. Okay, okay, this is too much. Yeah, this is brutal. Are you, are you trying to bring her with you? This is nuts. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. Did this happen today? Yes. Yeah.
This like, happened today. Just hours wow. ago. Hours ago. God damn, dude. This is fucking insane. I don't know, like, does does boobage pop out or something? Like, I'm I'm worried. <laughs> um, let me let me uh Humans are funny. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me hate- screen it to make sure no boobs pop out. I hate <laughs> I hate how dead okay. that dude's eyes look too. It like really fucking freaks me out. Oh, he's he's Jeff, mad. Don't show anyone your boobs. She she sucker punched him. I mean, he's mad. <laughs> My car now. <laughs> what the fuck? Get the fuck out. Did you just go to some random vehicle? Yeah. Oh, they made it somebody else's problem. Oh, that's great. great. Human beings are insane. Yeah, it's like some kind of work truck. Oh, it was, it was his vehicle. She was driving it. Or something. Unless he's just decided it's his now. Which is also funny. Dude. That would be actually really, really, really funny. <laughs> I'm the streamer. I own this YouTube channel now. Yep. If you defeat the YouTube channel owner, you get the channel. That's how. That's in there, the TOS. There can be only one. Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm really surprised by that. That was intense. Yeah, that, that was, was way a- more intense than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. I, I was actually starting to get a little uncomfortable with it. Like, dude, this is fucking gnarly, man. Ugh. It says I was starting to get a little horny. <laughs> her her mug shot's already out there too. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, let's see it. Is it fun? <laughs> uh, she looks okay. She looks like she got in a scuffle, which is what just happened. Um, it's, it's right here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Uh-oh, doxed. Uh, everyone knows her real last name. What I want to know is her real birthday. But now we know her jacket number. <laughs> I want to know what year she was actually born, because she says, like, years that are disputable. Nah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 2008. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was that crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. nuts. I, j- I just, I just, we look at so many of these things and they're already in motion. You know? Like, you can't do anything to stop it. And you're just wondering, like, how did you get into this situation? And I wish. I'm an empath, and I wish I could help these people, but I can't. <laughs> I can't help these people, and it's a sad thing to have to come to terms with. You can't save everybody. True. You can at least kind of like, you know, enjoy the misery in a sick kind of thrill that, sort of way. That's all that. That's all that we can do. Yeah. But at I, least we're doing our part. <laughs> I thought uh, before we wrap no it place. up that we watched this uh, cool cat drama retold in the WWE. It's a good video. All right. Okay. Let's check this out. Once upon a time, I stumbled upon a trailer for the film Cool Cat Saves the Kids, (laughs) and I thought, this is right down my alley. Uh, I watched the film, and my life has never been the same since. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Adam's a high flyer. Uh, I reviewed it. There's and Derek. That looks well. so much like him. That's ridiculous. I made my video on it. To which he responded in the polar opposite way. <laughs> about it. I don't know what it was. I guess I was a bit more harsh. I emailed this boy, and I'm calling him just right out what he is. He is a lying punk troll, and that's what he's doing to it. He struck down the video. He eventually... 
He wound up sending Alex a bunch of legal threats. During this whole fiasco, I was trying to remain in good terms with Derek Savage. This is what the Streisand effect is. Here's your IMDb rating on the film that's currently plummeting. Your reputation is going down the shit. Even if you believe you are in the legal right here, which you are not, you're screwing yourself. He wouldn't fucking listen. This guy doesn't understand how the internet works. He was taking down all these other YouTubers. I had to explain to him that this is wrong and this is not okay. Very epic. <laughs> I just love that somebody went through this effort. To yeah. This yeah. For some reason. Right. It's, it's exactly how they recap the entire feud before they show the payoff match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Eli433 on YouTube. <laughs> I love Alex. They kind of made him look like Prince Harry here or something. That was cool meeting him, though, uh, when because when, you brought him down yeah, to a yeah. furry convention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was visiting Vancouver and then he took a drive to Seattle. And that was his first time in the States, right? Yeah, I recently, uh, like a week and a half ago, I took him to Vegas for the first time. And he just talked about it on his podcast, and it was a lot of fun. And the, we just recorded the Sardonicast episode today where we talked about it also, but that'll be out in like a week. From England, weighing in at 221 pounds, I H E. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. <laughs> I cannot wait to finally do it. I love how much customization there is for this game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can, like, upload a photo of a face, and it'll try to make it as accurate as it can. Mm. Doesn't always work, but... Hey! It even has, like, the arena echo to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should reenact this IRL. That would be hilarious. Yeah, how, what's Derek's price? Probably not much. I wouldn't do it because he would show up with a gun. <laughs> Just do it in Canada. Make him, he has mm. to come to Canada. And uh, because we, he, would, he would do illegal moves. <laughs> he probably would. And you know, you know, Scott could get a hold of a ring for you. So you got that. <laughs> we could do it. <laughs> yeah. If it was pro wrestling, it would require some sort of like camaraderie and coordination. It's not true. Actual. <laughs> actual hate. <laughs> I'll just wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's you guys versus Savage and Cool Cat. <laughs> well now, well now, Derek would have to be in that suit too. He's got the tail. Likes to rock and roll. <laughs> A very high pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. Adam, oh, yeah, what's I your like signature wrestling move? We're about to find out. Oh, shit. And from Los Angeles, California. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> you name it, this competitor has tried it. 
Not a way to make many friends backstage. Well, here's a harsh truth for you, Saxon. Friends are only Looks like he has a bunch of sunscreen on his face. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what happened to that. Yeah. But like clown makeup or something. Come. Yeah. Is that the end? I don't remember. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's the <laughs> yeah, end. I guess it is. <laughs> somebody, somebody randomly was asking uh, what we thought of um, M Night M Night's uh, movie Old. It's fucking hilarious and it's great, and you should absolutely watch it. Yeah, it's on my list of things to make a video on. It's so fucking funny. Oh my god, I they laugh a minute. I I laughed through the entire movie. It was fucking. It's crazy. Funny. Yeah, it's crazy as fuck. Whew, I'm He's still silly. I'm still shaken by the Elisa stuff. That's so crazy. I, I mm -hmm. like Yeah. Yeah. We live in a society. Yeah. <laughs> where things like that shouldn't happen, but they do. Yeah. Um, it's crazy to live stream that. Yes. Yeah. There was a there was a point in time where something like that captured on camera would be the biggest fucking deal in the world but it now would. shit like that just happens all the time yeah yeah oh yeah it's it's constant i mean you have to like you have to pick i like to call them wing nuts you pick your wing nuts and you just like stick with them like a like a devoted uh a devoted follower because it's it's it, people can't help but put things online they can't help themselves like there's there's got to be some some real uh, research being done onto like the psychological aspect of people unable well, to disconnect and not share the worst things in their lives. One of the main features of a lol cow is oversharing, chronic oversharing, yeah. and and Chris Chan is a prime example of that. That's why we know so much about Chris Chan is because of all of the personal stuff that's been released over the years by them directly. So true. Yeah, it's we've permanently altered society and the way that we interact with each other socially like we're we are a part of the computer machines like it's, yeah. it's a part of us it's a yes. part of our, our own psyche now yeah we're, we're not quite cyborgs yet but give it time isn't that we are what elon musk is working on anyway we're, we're, I would say we're, we're fucking cyborgs already. Like, our, our social life is through the internet. We're talking through computers sure. at each other right now. Yeah, sure. We're not even here. Like, you're not even in front of me. No. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Like, <laughs> yeah, we're fucking cyborgs. Like, the, it's, the computers have infiltrated our entire culture and, well, and our day-to-day -day lives. How we how we understand and gather information, too. Like, you know, back in my day... Mm find something out you had to go to the yeah. library, get a book you know it's i remember having this naive and like just stupidly optimistic idea when i was younger when the internet was just starting out you know and like youtube was starting when i was like 15 i was like information is going to be readily available at people's fingertips in a way where people are just going to get smarter <laughs> but misinformation is is just as readily Oops. available that's, yeah, it sucks, it. and I, I wish I could have seen that coming, but, like, damn, everything's just confirmation bias now. It's like, oh, now you have information that you would like to believe readily available. Absolutely. Right? You have yeah. you have the truth readily available, too, but there's enough enough other people confirming your biases that because of the way that human beings' brains are wired, that that's not what most people seek well, out. Yeah, it, most it's, people don't seek out the truth. It's kind of like Reddit. It's like the truth on Reddit is determined by upvotes, not really what's true, not like research or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. And that's why yeah, it's fucking Joe annoying. Rogan is a bad person. Who is? <laughs> Joe Rogan. That's why he's a bad person. Oh, does he own Reddit? No, no, but he's like the, the biggest purveyor of confirmation bias these days. It's fucking crazy. I don't know. It sucks too. I loved I loved his fucking podcast too. I loved his fucking podcast. I'll, but it, it's it's misinformation, right? And I'll like listen that's, to that's it. Thing. I'll listen to it if he has a good guest on, like someone I want to hear him talk to. Otherwise, I don't yeah. normally listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, same. I'll still I'll still watch it if there's like something that I find interesting and it's not like some some conspiracy shit. But there's just so much of the conspiracy stuff, and uh, you know, it, it's one of those things like. 
there's that essential question I've asked it lots and lots of times, which is, you know, freedom of speech and ease of access to information and all this ability for us to beam directly into these fucking little devices, all we need at any point in time. Freedom of speech, freedom of speech. But what if, like, 95% of what is being spoken to you is a lie, then what's the fucking value in it? And I don't know. I don't have a good answer for that. I I think it's... I uh, mean... Question. I, there is value in free speech. It's just the people yeah. that the people that are aware enough need to step up and try to combat it misinformation in the ways that we can. And unfortunately, like you know, in a lot of ways, it seems like a losing battle. But it is. hopefully, I do have faith for you know younger generations that are growing up with the internet. That you know, hopefully they can learn in a way that a lot of older generations didn't by having this sort of experience and being like, oh, wow, a lot of what's on the internet is actually bullshit. Right. Growing up with that, then maybe there might be like some more skepticism. I hope so. I'm just, I'm, I'm completely blackpilled about the whole fucking thing at this point. It's a COVID broke me, man. COVID broke me. I I was fighting. COVID made a lot of people dumber. (laughs) Yes. Uh, in, well, it's it's but like I, I I dedicated years and years uh, before COVID even happened to like trying to battle uh, anti-vax sentiment and like hmm. uh, it didn't it didn't mean anything. It didn't mean fucking anything. Like literally there's a fucking pandemic. There's a vaccine. It fucking helps. And it doesn't matter. Like now anti-vax sentiment is like 200 percent worse it's because it, it became like, a political uh, position, like in order to right? fit in with half of the voting. Po- well, uh, basically half 30 percent. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, too much, too yeah. much. Yeah. Even Trump gets booed over that issue. So that says a lot when Trump's yeah, base so that funny. worships him will boo him when he's like, I like the virus, uh, the, the vaccine. I created it. You know, and then yeah, they boo I him. I like the virus. Yeah. <laughs> I love the virus. Uh, I'm a bug chaser. Yeah, it's it's crazy, and that's that. <laughs> that was that was like my black pill moment in in you know the whole having faith in humanity sort of thing. Like it just it broke me, man. It broke me, and I I just I don't have any faith in it. I I do hope. I do hope that we we evolve some form of of uh, you know uh, combating this. Uh, this suicidal stupidity that our species seems mm-hmm. to be in right now, but I don't know how or when that's going to happen. Hope it does. But earlier, earlier you said you were pro-virus. Me? Uh, no, I'm pro entertainment. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm pro something, something interesting happening. You know, you're I pro wanna, rapture. I, I'm, I want to ride eternal shiny and chrome on the Fury Road. That's what I want. More than anything. Can you please show Adam the people's More Joker? like the furry road. I posted it in the content section, please, if you can. Uh, you don't have to show me the people's Joker if what you're talking about is a trailer. Because uh, I'm excited to see the film and I know what it is. And the entire film has not been released yet digitally. Uh, but I think that's happening in the next month or two. So I will be watching the people's Joker. So no need to show me because I know what that is. Okay. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, director director Vera Drew Drew. Somehow I just remember directors' names for films I haven't even seen yet. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I I only us- I usually only remember the big names from my childhood, and even newer directors, I I forget who they are. You know, but like the Spielbergs mm-hmm. and the Scorseses and. Those kinds of people, I those are usually the ones that stand out. I guess uh, Ron Howard too. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the last movie you've seen in a theater, Ben? Um. <laughs> uh, it was uh, Avatar two. <laughs> that movie sucked. Yeah, it did. yeah, it, did. it was really long. <laughs> Mine was uh, damn. Everybody saw it. Mine was Dune Part Two. Yeah, I haven't and, been to a theater in a long time. I, I'm willing to do it. You like a lot of times it just I look at the movies that are out and I'm like, huh, 
I, there's there's really like some of these movies I want to see, but do I want to pay this much to watch it now, or can I wait to see it when it's not this much to watch? You know, that's like, fair. Um, I had I, no choice. Oh, doing, I know what you mean. Yeah, I had no choice doing part two, even though I knew I was gonna fucking hate it. Uh, because I I am a massive Dune fan. You know, I mm-hmm. love. Are every- you are you David Lynch Dune fan? Uh well I I was a I was a book fan. You're a David form. Lynch fan though, right? But I, I'm a huge fan of David Lynch and I actually do mm-hmm. have a lot of love for the original movie, uh, for a lot of different reasons, even though it is uh messy. Very, very messy. <laughs> but did you watch the miniseries? I uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I actually rewatched it I did uh, not, but... two and a half weeks ago. Um, okay. it's, it's rough. The, the sequel miniseries children of Dune is very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, what's your favorite, uh, video adaptation of Dune? Uh, I don't think there is a favorite. Um, I love, I, I love the cast of David Lynch's. I love the production style of it. The look of it. It's incredible. Um, but there are a lot of problems with it. It's very messy and very incoherent. Um, the most competently made, of course, is the Denis Villeneuve, uh, you know, versions. But I-, I feel like if you gave us five hours to do a book, you shouldn't have stripped out two thirds of the book, and it really makes me mad. Yeah, which, uh, which is weird because it's so long that you'd think that right. I- I've heard that a lot is stripped out, a lot of the interesting stuff. I don't even mind that he changed certain aspects of the plot, like like the way Chaney, you know, interacts with everything and who her family is. I don't even necessarily mind some of those creative decisions, but like, you never even hear the word mentat, uh, which is bizarre. There's like really important interactions between characters that are very, very important. Uh, they chose mm-hmm. not to have uh, Paul's sister Alia born before the movie ends. Which also means that uh, the whole point where they flee and join with the Fremen and then they win uh, is instead of a few is like two years is now like like a month. It's weird. Mm. It's weird. Um, there's a lot of aspects of the universe that are are removed, and I I hated what they did with Christopher Walken. They didn't even give him a chance to be the Emperor. He was just sleepy, Chris. Chris Walken. He was he was <laughs> definitely Christopher Walken out of place in the film. Yeah, yeah. He was definitely the actor Christopher Walken in the movie. Uh the I think my biggest gripe with it too on top of that is I really dislike uh Timothy Chalamet. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Timothy. Uh, Timothy. I I don't I don't I don't like him in that film. I like him in other films, but I, I didn't like him in this in the Dune franchise. I didn't I think he was really miscast in it. But Yeah. I've heard I've heard from like fans of the original source material that he looks like he's supposed to look, but I just I, I was not entirely convinced by his character, especially in the fir- in part one. Right. And there's I there's like there's I don't know, there's a lot of stuff that none of the movies get right. Um you know, the David Lynch one has a lot of stuff that's changed, but what a lot of people forget is that there was somebody that was there working on the movie with David when they made the movie, and all of the changes went by him, and he co-signed to everything that happened in that movie, mm. and that's Frank fucking Herbert was there. Like, he was literally there, and he was like, yeah, okay, cool. Weirding modules is like sound guns and shit. Yeah, sure, fuck it, let's do it. Sounds cool. And the so, weirding way. Yeah, the weirding modules and shit. So it's fine, but I don't know. It's 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 tough. I I really I really would have at this point loved to have seen uh, Jodorowsky's Dune. I uh, Jodorowsky. Jodorowsky, right, right? And it would have been it wouldn't have been anything like the book, but fuck it, dude. You know, just fuck it. I want to see it. It'd be great. Yeah, you also mispronounced Denis Villeneuve earlier. I I'm don't correct you. Keep correcting you on names. <laughs> well, earlier you said Tim Pool wears a beanie when we both know he wears a toque. Okay. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> I if I if I have a mostly American audience, I can yeah. I can compromise on some terms. <laughs> <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's yeah. some things where where like I'll feel strongly about the Canadianism, and then other things where I'm like, yeah, I can I can do the American. I think it's a great word. I didn't even I I, I can't even remember when I first learned it. I'm like, man, that's such a unique name for a beanie. You know, I wonder where Duke. like yeah, I wonder what the like the background on that word is, like where it came from originally. It almost sounds indigenous. Oh. How do you underutilize? Yeah, your- probably. And that makes me very mad. I'm pissed off about that. What are you pissed off about? They underutilized Rebecca Ferguson. She's fucking amazing. She's an incredible actress, and like, mm-mm, didn't like it. Didn't like it. Hmm. Sorry, I'm ranting. It's fine. <laughs> I think we're about what to wrap you, it what up. What would you give Dune Part Two out of ten? Uh if I had to rate it overall, uh, I liked it better than Part One marginally uh so i'd probably give it like a six out of ten because it's competent it's competent and like the aspects that it excels at visually um the uh the sound editing the the, a lot of the performances were fucking great but as far as like a missed opportunity and a slog it's still a six out of ten uh part one is a five it's -uh. yeah i changed my part one to a five as well but i would i would give part two a seven would you that's fair. Yeah. I there are there are scenes in it that almost redeem it for me. There's this, the scene with uh, with Paul like riling people up and like embracing like the destiny of the. Rah, 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 rah. I'm like, he's actually acting. That's pretty good. And I, I kind of got like mm-hmm. an emotional lift to it. But that that height that that like that pump up that I felt from it uh, wanes like when I. I step back, and it's purely for like my perspective as a Dune fan with the books and the material. Uh, when I see what I didn't get to see, you know, and that's that's mm-hmm. what for me. And then, like, somebody who doesn't read the books is probably going to love the movie a lot more than me. And good for them, you know, that's cool. Hmm. Sometimes it sucks being kind of like a purist, sort of. You know, like it can it can really hamper. You your know what? Enjoyment. If you were more like emo Howling Wolf and didn't know how to read or write, it wouldn't matter. You didn't. You wouldn't <laughs> have to be a purist because you wouldn't be able to read the books. You know what? That's what if everybody. If you just diped up, you wouldn't have missed half the movie. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that should be the lesson for everybody out there. If you haven't yet learned how to read, don't bother. Exactly. Who needs that? Ain't nobody got time yeah. for that. All right. I think we're going to wrap it up for the night. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Jeff, for being on the show. And uh, for everybody else. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll be back coming up here on Thursday. Have a good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. Bye. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.